Oh, did you click the right things? We're done. We're ready. Cool. So, welcome to tonight's episode of uh, Scoundrels of Veils. It is episode 11, What Not to Do in Veil. And we begin our story where we left off the last time, which was in a dark alleyway and Cass had just gotten beaten down by uh, a couple of ruffins and is left unconscious. Why was Cass left unconscious in this alley? Well, the party had previously entered into the alchemist's shop to uh, alleviate him of some of his wealth. And in their attempt to do so, they uh, wandered upon divine power, which was a uh, very dangerous automaton that almost beat the shit out of them. It killed one of the five that entered and made two unconscious by the end as well. It was six people that entered, wasn't it? Yeah. Three people Three went unconscious down, one too. person yeah. died. Yeah, yeah. And uh, once they had left in, in various ways, uh, the people wandered out to different places. Kinnan and uh, Oscar went to the Arcanum to talk to Solomon and to sell the book where they were given 20,000 silver coins. And carrying that the way back to the Lonely Darling, Kinnan made himself invisible to make sure they don't get robbed. However, not being so aware of the Emir Ward was Cass, who was very sad and upset about what had happened and uh, decided that it was a good idea to go sightseeing in the evening of uh, the day and uh, simply ended up it's, it's, it's mugged. We then have Charles and uh, Joshua currently sitting and waiting with now uh, Oscar and uh, Kinnan at the Lonely Darling. So, as they're sitting, eventually somebody realizes after some drinks and such that um, Cass is not there. And we pan over <laughs> to see how Cass is laying in the alleyway. And uh, there's a, a small, maybe two and a half foot creature that scampers out from one of the sewer grates to Cass's body. This creature is almost pitch black and uh, has small wings on its back, long talons that it uses to move forward. And it kind of sits down next to Cass, pokes around on his unconscious body, and then goes through his pockets, pockets just like the, uh, the thugs did. There's nothing of value in there, not even a, uh, a not dust even rat. Pride. <laughs> so uh, the little creature eventually leaves Cass alone and disappears down into the sewer grate that they did. Time passes and Cass, still unconscious in the uh, alleyway, is eventually walked upon by another figure. There's been many that has just walked past him. One or two has probably thrown him over on back to make sure that he doesn't have anything valuable. Some might have been... Uh, yeah, generally. Um, but walking down from the north end is a figure we haven't seen before. And it is... Uh, so that this figure stops by... Cass and shakes life into Cass. And as Cass wakes up in this dark alleyway, you see a, uh, at first, very blurry face, but then it's a, uh, a pretty familiar face. Could Rox go ahead and describe how her character looks? We can also fix a quick picture as well. So you just so, so uh, this uh, this lady bends over for Cass, shakes him awake. Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? And uh, this lady is uh, 
more tan of skin than the people you're used to seeing around Vale. Uh, she has very well tended, long, brown, luscious hair, and absolutely piercing golden eyes. Some stuff that you get hypnotized by, because the color in it keeps like switching and changing, like it's iridescent metal. Uh, she's not dressed like someone from around the place either. She's in very fine robes. Uh, with an elegant brocade top over it, and she has like a nice little belt pouch. And before you can even see the woman, you smell her. She smells like a perfume shop. Like Bath, Bath and Body just fucking came to life and started walking amongst the streets, and now uh, she's shaking me awake. It's been a while! Do you recognize me? It's your girl! I don't... Uh, Nazani. Naz Nazani? Yeah! We pretended to sleep together. Huh. Uh... I thought you were dead. I mean, like I... you're homeless and laying on the street, so it's not much better than homeless. being dead. I'm not homeless. It's not homelessness. Oh. No, no, no. It's it's oh, a temporary... Okay. Um, temporary uh, misplacement, perhaps. I guess. I, mean, I thought that. I, oh, so you're not like sleeping on the streets, like as a. What are you doing sleeping on the street? I'm not sleeping I mean, on I the street. No, you... oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine. It's okay. It's. Uh... You were snoring on the sidewalk. What part of that is not sleeping on the streets? Are you okay? I mean, not I know really. you're destitute and all of that, and like you got into big trouble with your family, and I thought like you were sinking pretty low, but this is like lower. Are you okay? You need... Like, I can bring you to my, my friend's house if you need some place to rest, or I can help you go over to whatever place you need. Like, a the pretty boy, like, can be laying the, on the street. Where the hell... Uh, where, where is we? Oh, um... We're still in bail? Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. What I've you been, do? I can look... I, you know, uh, I follow the smell of the... Uh, Rich men that are dumb enough to replace uh, the name of your wife with my own on their will. Of course. And of I course. don't know, that's the kind of smell I got from this city. Yes. Very, do very much so. To, yes. Yeah. Do you want me to, like, help you get to somewhere? Like, you look, like, a bit weak on your knees. Uh, I can't, like, lift you up in my arms. It's I okay, I got you. this. Watch this. Okay. And I... Stand up, and it really hurts everything. No, I can't stand up. You, you okay. can roll me a strength saving. Okay. <laughs> and so badly that standing up is going to be hard. Oh no. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, strength save seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pity. And, uh... You can ah. stand. Yay! Uh... But you can't... Ah! I just do, <laughs> do ah, that ah, at the same time. I just, ah. uh, you see, I, I got it. It's it's alright. I'm so glad to see you, but, uh... Uh... But what... Uh, so you, you are here because you look for... Look yes, of course, you, you look for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah, I go, I go, I go where the work brings me. Yes, I know. But it's yeah. good to see a familiar face. Uh, this place is absolutely barbaric and horrible. Um. Oh. Well, I, uh, well, it's uh, starting to grow on me. Yeah, I can tell. Not really. Uh, do you, yeah, I can tell. Um, do you, do you need me to bring you somewhere? I can escort you because I feel like you, you shouldn't be trusted alone on the streets. That is kind of true, it's actually. Not, it, yeah, it's not an it's not an insult. I, it's I know. Honestly, okay. I know. It's yeah. okay. You couldn't throw an insult even if you tried, but uh, it's uh, it's fine. No, but um, I do have some uh, some sort of um, I don't know what to call them. Is it called a business uh, business partner? Sugar daddies? Maybe. Oh yeah, that, that. Or something mm -hmm. like that. They are um, 
well, funny story. I, uh, I somebody tried to kill me, and then I got this bracelet on me, and uh, well, I said that I had to work with these guys, and these guys don't like me. I don't know why. Usually, but... when people give me jewelry, they don't try to kill me before. But what? Whatever floats your boat, huh? What? Huh? You okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, so, but the question is, um, I don't know if they're gonna accept me. I don't think they will, because they kind of talk about, they're talking about a stick up my ass, and I don't know what they mean about it. It's, uh, it's uh, kind of, um, I don't know. It's, they, just uh, mean, they just probably mean that you have excellent posture. Exactly, that's what I was saying, yeah, and everybody's like... They might, they might think that like such excellent posture and regal bearing, are too much to handle for their covenant. I, I know, right? I know. Mm -hmm. Actually, it feels a don't, little bit better to it, go. Don't take it too. It's it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't take it mm -hmm. uh, that way. They, they, they. I, 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 I think that they might be kind of a good people, maybe. Oh, I'm so glad you made friends. You were never good with people. Such a good thing for you. Oh, Quite th proud. Th thank you. <laughs> uh, it's... Um, yes, um, okay. Um, I think we... Are they rich? To, if they're rich? Um, not really. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, they can still be nice people even if they don't have money, I think. I, I know, but it's a little bit, uh, I, I, it's actually a little bit uh, strange, I must say, because they are like, um, they have been trying to ask me to do some things that, uh, you know, involve uh, going into houses you're not supposed to. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Oh, I your body, do. Your body is a temple. Not Respect any. yourself. Oh. Okay? You, you deserve the good things. You're a good, good, pretty boy. Uh, It'll be okay. I know I'm a pretty boy. I know. That's the problem. No. But okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I think we... Uh, I think that they might be... I, I take it that they have not looked for me because I cannot see them. So... Maybe they just suck at looking. Yes, I think so too. Really bad at looking. Yes. Also, they lost uh, a little bit of friends, so I think they're a little bit sad. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, so maybe we... I mean, I am I am known for cheering people up. Oh, I know. You'll see, yeah. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't worry, I know. <laughs> I think that you can bring them many joys. Yes, all of them. They're pretty, actually, yes. Uh, one of them is uh, pretty, pretty nice, actually. I think you can uh, talk to him, uh, kind of. A... Probably introduce him to a person mm -hmm. of his budget. Yes, yes, yeah. that is that is true. All right. Well, um, it's called the Lonely Darling, I think. Uh, and it's uh, what a nice name. I'm easy. It? Yeah. It sounds kind of sad, but okay. Yeah. Okay. has a tragic sound to it. I yes. like it. Uh, yes, it's it's a little bit... Uh, uh, Bring me to this fine establishment where I can meet your friends. Okay, yes. We, we can say that. That is okay. But they do share a room, just so you know. So it might be a little bit uh, difficult to get one-on-one, -on -one, but you know, you're fine with that. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Um, good. You see this, like, confuse confusement, I believe, on the sign where it's like, was that an insult or a compliment? <laughs> kind of deal, almost. Um, it's okay. She knows Cass doesn't have people skills, so she's not really holding this person accountable for their words. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two seconds. One, two seconds. Where we go? <laughs> Who was that? Who said two seconds? I'm back in 15 seconds. We're legally allowed to take inspiration. 
<laughs> it's like seeing you two talking, and then someone comes up in like two seconds, like, who the fuck was that? Pinky <laughs> up. <laughs> Roxy, pinky up. I, there was some crying from the living room, and I thought no. that something was really going wrong, but it was Hannah sitting and being angry at the dogs for putting the paws on her. Oh. Like, because it hurts, so. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, so um, was on pause. you two uh, together now, a bit safer, move through the enabled of Vale and uh, sorry, the night is starting to become very bustling. The street lights are all lighting up, and you can see the those that don't work during the day start to come out and generally weirdly enough they are less dangerous than those that prey on on people here like during the day because these people usually have a code at least where they do certain things to certain people whereas guards and other thugs during the day they they do what they want so you make your way over the market and down to the Lonely Darling, where I think we have four pretty drunk people mm. currently oh. sitting. Don't forget Oscar's high on morphine. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. yes. So we ha so we have th because I remember very vividly that you were ordered a lemonade by Kinnan and not alcohol. So we have three people that's very drunk. And then Oscar, who is still very high on morphine. Um, so as Nasani and uh, Cass open the door to this, it's a three-story, um, very like, uh, what do we call it? Um, <laughs> very square building, so there's no like things that juts out or alcoves that comes out in the building and uh, on the outside it is a, uh, a deep purple building with stone floors and stone foundation that comes up and some in gold painted like uh, murals on the outside to just add to the beauty of it and as you come inside there is a square room in the center of this room it's a slightly elevated uh, scene, and above it, there is no roof. So above it is just like where, uh, I don't know what you call those type of buildings, where it's like empty in the center the, all the way up, and people can stand looking out on railings from the second and third floors as well. But that's how it looks. On the bottom floor, there is a lot. You, you have it? It's a, it's a building with an atrium. Uh, with an atrium. Cool. atrium. Thanks. There are three bars on the bottom floor, one in each corner that isn't on the uh, um, the one where the door comes in. And uh, today, on the centerpiece, there are uh, four musicians currently playing what is basically a... Uh, what would you call this? Like... Uh, uh, a song off, I guess, like a uh, an instrument off where they play and they try to disrupt each other f to fuck up and then like they uh, they play the best they can and have some very comedic parts in their performance. Very enjoyed. It's about what the others know, perhaps not what Cass and Asani knows, about another two hours or so until any normal fighting starts that is usually the the thing for the lonely darling lar darling during the the three days from thursday friday saturday um so the three very drunk people see Cass walk in the door and this stunning girl lady <laughs> woman behind him I actually, uh, I, I, uh, I offer up my hand very cordially and uh, mm -hmm. show her inside. Yeah, and Nazani, Nazani, like, looks like she's holding his arm, but she's actually holding him up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, by so the way, uh, just so you know, uh, Nazani, um, <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, they do not like me. Did I say that? Maybe I didn't. I thought they were your friends. No, they do not like me. I don't think they do. Or, you know, I, I don't know. How do you know stuff like that? If they tell you to go fuck off, does that mean that they like you? It depends. It depends. Let's. Let, here's what we'll do. Like, let's go sit down with them, and then I'll tell you if they like you or not. Okay, that sounds. Cause yeah, I I I know these things. Okay. A bit better than you. Yes, I know. So we'll, yeah, let's get this done. Um, I think we have three round tables that has been kind of put together, where we have Oscar, Charles, Joshua, and Kinnan together with other patrons that are currently playing like this. 3D version of the beer pong where you have like several stages of things where you can hit uh, the uh, the beer and because you guys are paying and it's a lot of uh, like people they uh, people swarm to you kind of deal so what you see is uh, one of them is a uh, a very young boy man teenager almost uh, standing boy man. <laughs> Boy man, teenager, standing maybe one hundred like one seventy, so what's that like five foot five foot six ish? Yeah, um ish. Uh, shortcut blonde hair, very light ruffled on top, uh, you know, barely any anything on his chin, and uh, two very sad green eyes currently. Um standing next to him we have an old man. Go ahead and describe your character, but uh so you kind of see a older gentleman um whose appearance is slightly it's not uncanny valley -y, but when you look at it it's something's kind of weird you almost would expect him to be older kind of from his you know body uh, shape and the way he carries himself and his eyes look a little beleaguered but his skin and some of his facial features kind of tell you differently of where you would suppose that you would see deep wrinkles. Maybe you only see light creases and other parts of the skin smoothed out, kind of having that younger, fuller color uh, from youth. Um, a little bit of like, you know, skin blush and light in there, not that murky kind of old uh, feel. You see him dressed fairly, um, oh, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Just elegantly, uh, uh, you know, he has a nice outfit on of a nice vest with an overcoat, a uh, little like pocket handkerchief and some nice fitted uh, trousers. Um, and he would probably be sitting at the table um, just enjoying himself a drink. And sitting next to him, I believe, is uh, a, 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 a younger person. Yes, I would say so. I would assume so. Um, <laughs> and you see pretty a, a lot shorter sitting down, and it currently looks quite bad. Like, probably some blood stains left and just exhaustion on his face. But beyond that, you see pretty long black hair that is a bit slick, almost greasy, uh, sort of not combed back necessarily, but just like hanging on a bit to the sides. He's pretty thin, but that pretty hollow elongated face with gray green eyes um it doesn't look like he's a laborer or any, of any kind like it's you know pretty not brittle bones but pretty thin uh for his build um the clothes he wears are pretty fine almost like a merchant or trader but you notice quite quickly that even though they used to be fine the fashion is not in style anymore and it is faded and worn. Although repaired and mended, you can still see that it's worn and pretty old. And last but not least, standing and partaking in the beer pong. And probably quite good at it, even though he's entirely not in the room, even though he is physically in the room. Um, some, let's call him six feet tall, Young, a uh, long black beard going to like the middle of his back, a small goatee, fair features, dressed simply, a robe, and maybe a sleeveless shirt underneath. Nothing exceedingly like special or anything. Doesn't look particularly strong, but the way he moves as he's throwing the ball for a uh, beer pong, there's very clear like precise 
movement there like he he is trained in some way even though there's not much muscle on him per se but again he is not in the room at the moment as far as he's concerned he might as well be on a different planet <laughs> Um, I'm gonna... Add... Oh, sorry. No, I was gonna say, do you want to describe your character as well, perhaps? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Um, so, cast is... It's very difficult to see or tell uh, if it's a woman or a man. It's not really that obvious. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, uh, he has... Um, uh, beautiful, uh, kind of, or not at the moment, <laughs> he's kind of shifty looking right now, uh, <laughs> but, uh, kind of half long blonde hair, um, with stripes of, um, brown and stuff in it, and, uh, used to have a little bit, um, well, th I think that he has rags, basically, right now. Um, they're not looking too good at all, uh, and he is very like scrawny, and it kind of looks like you know if you if you take take uh, the arm and just you know bend it a little bit, it will snap like a twig. So he he is not physically like strong or something like that. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, and now. Because of the situation that you're coming into this uh, rock with your character, don't take anything that is about to happen personally. Anything that the characters say is in character and it comes out for a reason. Now, <laughs> having almost already scared away our player that is uh, joining Bye. us. Bye! <laughs> <All right>. um, <laughs> Kinnan turns to the door and sees Cass come in with a stunningly beautiful woman, and he just kind of goes, Ha! That's what you went and did, Cass. You went and got yourself a... a no, no, that's, that's probably what escort, right? Oh. It, it, it's good the, the, I'm this sorry, thing. but uh, that is not uh, who this is. Um, she is oh, well right. above you can all tell of you. What the lie that you what? want to say. She fucking found me. At least she looked for me. You guys. You didn't said you wanted about your own. I asked you. You said you wanted your own. I, you, I, told you, yeah, I don't have a Charles, problem with Charles, you. Uh, Charles turns to Kenan. Fucking founders better than found him or found, uh, found him fucking. But uh, the first one who spoke, you said he was sitting down. No, Kinnan is standing up and uh, oh, okay. talking like beer pong, playing beer pong at the moment. Well, yeah. he's he's still. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go walk over to him. Like <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder <laughs> and say, like, <laughs> you should know, I've been friends with Cass for a very long time, but. I am in the business of bringing joy to people's life. Fortunately, yeah. yeah. He, he like don't puts, touch, puts his hand touch. like on your shoulder, like you're <laughs> touching him, like, and he's like, mm -hmm. "You're bringing joy to people. You should yeah. take a few steps back because I just could smell you before you walked in." Keenan, just shut up. Very expensive perfume. This is the. Yeah, this is the and it smells people. like. Well, Keenan, you don't smell so good yourself. <laughs> you guys can smell. <laughs> I started like smelling no, the beer. Like... Sorry, my friend. Uh, lush. My nose is very sensitive. Smelly. Well, I, I I apologize if oh, I did your senses. Apology accepted, lady. Oh, you're not supposed to just say that. You're supposed to bow much more than that. You do that right now. He takes a step back, <laughs> like takes his uh, the the bottom of his shirt, and he does a curtsy. He's now, like, Mulani is like lady. in front, prepared to recept. If he <laughs> all <face first. laughs> yeah, no, he he crosses oh, the, you know his legs like that, and then mm -hmm. like does a curtsy, 
you know, takes out his shirt like his, his skirt and like. I didn't know you had an Indian pin. You look pretty good? nice with a sticker in your ass. I still don't think that you properly understand what that means, though. Is she one of us? No, oh, she's oh, one of mine. Do you have? Mine, she, okay. he, without permission, like takes your hand very gently for somebody drunk and kind of just raises up. And you see, as he's taking your right hand with his right hand on his right wrist, you see a uh, a black bracer that seems to be made out of some stone or jewelry that you have never seen before. It's and a bracelet, right? Not a bracer? Yeah, bracelet. So you see, actually see that black bracer on all of the other five people, like all these five people that is currently talking. The rest mm, of no. us? Yeah, see it, no, so. no. Mm, unless... Yeah, then... So like, they can look at everyone like... <laughs> <laughs> unless you've got it somewhere else. Milady. I don't cap the lad don't I don't think she'll put it somewhere else. Shh. Yes. Are they like sick? Or are they just <laughs> um... I mean I don't oh, I it's don't, your turn, Oscar. No, I think that they are um I don't I don't know, they're just a little bit more stupid than usual. <laughs> drink, 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 drink. <laughs> Is this something that, uh, you know, people are supposed to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's they very do? calm. It's oh. very calm. Uh, they have yeah. a seed. There's so much food. Just six of food. It's so, uh, sort of like turning over, like, plates <laughs> yeah. are empty. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like I, don't, I, don't, I don't know Sorry. who these people are, but, like, they share friendship bracelets with you. So I, I figure that like you guys are friends, but and I don't want to leave. I, like I don't want to leave these people without supervision. Like they need adult supervision right now. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite I'm worried. I'm not an adult. <laughs> <laughs> are you even, also even an old man? He's basically child. <laughs> <laughs> and you're basically dead, old child. <laughs> <laughs> we're all, we're all dead. <laughs> wait, um, wait, what? Uh, ca Cass, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the, 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 the larger in angry woman who, who shouts, we're, we're, we're dead. She, she killed us. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> I killed the old man. Yeah, we're actually dead. Oh uh, wait, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a random standing like. Shh. I am so sorry to have you come in like this, bro. Oh, it's an um, intro, hey. Yeah, zero, uh, zero idea what's going on. Just hearing people sitting like. Shh. Come in. Okay, so um, I don't know if they're my friends and what are we these. We don't either. Uh, shut up! No one's talking to you. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Colleagues. Okay, so, Nazini. Okay, so, right? At, uh, I, uh, a little bit strange to say, but uh, yes, we are uh, dead. Um, somebody killed us. Shh. <laughs> I mean, compliments to you all. You have radiant skin for that people. Yes, they do. It's hey, the genie. Much <laughs> much confused. Just funny. Much confused. Uh, where do the friendship bracelet come? Well, it, that's it's... not for my wrist. It's for my penis. What? I don't uh, get it. Oh. Oh, you mean the one on your wrist? That's not for friendship. That's because we. Well, no. <laughs> I am so confused myself. Oh. I think I got knocked in the head a little bit too hard. Don't tell, uh... W w what it is that we do? Why would you? You Why got hit in the I? head? Well, you guys are, you know... I don't know. We're not sharing any state secrets now, are we, Oscar? State secrets? Oh, you mean? Um... Well, anyway, 
I am so happy to see that you guys are doing so great and that you are happy great. and joyous because I <laughs> was just, you know, mugged. But yeah. okay, it's okay. <laughs> Nobody cares about <laughs> Only me, right? Only idiots get mugged because I, I would like fucking alone. kill you. you I don't say have that. Any... It's sad to you. It's good to you okay, but I... From, yeah. I don't get no. enough. No. Shh. Wait. Shh. Oscar, the stick. <laughs> You guys, you guys seem to have a lot of fun together. I did hear something interesting though, with the, within all that babbling. You don't I have the stick. You don't get to talk. Oh, shut up! Uh, you gotta give, give her the stick. Give, give her the stick. Give her the stick. Ignore. Shh. My friend died today. <laughs> okay. Time. The, the keep of the great. Keep yeah, the get, great. You get handed this. This. Rather normal quarter stuff that is yeah, very like well stuff. made. No. Okay. And the stick doesn't appear to have been shoved anywhere it shouldn't have been shoved. No. Yeah. Not yet. Not the one up cast. Yeah. It's a different stick. Okay. I'm just I'm just making sure. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like that. I have I have no room. I have no I have no expectations right now. Starting from the ground up. Yep. <laughs> it's a it's a weird okay. thing that they have started. Okay. It's uh, like okay. a talking Kenan looks stick. At you. Mm -hmm. Um, the bonky stick. I did hear you guys talk about space secrets. I really like secrets. Can you like? Shh, really? Can you like? Not allowed can you like, to say. Can you like tell me? You don't I have know, the stick. We're not allowed to say. <laughs> I don't. I don't know much about I'll this place yet, but secrets are basically my trade in life. Yes, so like, you if can you trust guys her. know, if you guys know stuff, I can tell you stuff. <gasps> oh. I, 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 I used to deal with people uh, like takes the stick. this. Do you know oh. Lady Viz Lady Vizon? Uh, you can actually roll me a uh, one of these. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I roll one of those. Don't, 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 First roll of the game. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Second roll of the three. Should get a press <laughs> that you just yep. click. Come on. Let's go! Three. Um, when your lady friend was mentioning her friend that knew about Kormi, apparently there had been some big problems at the last gala where one person naming the lady Visson seemed to have murdered a few people and now she's in hiding in the city the mm -hmm. lady friend of your friend didn't disclose if they knew any sort of position or such but at least she knew of her i am familiar with the name I know she really? misbehaved. I know she misbehaved a bit like, 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 last week. Like, like move like, my like walk on the back, like move closer. Back. Like really? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have I have a lot of friends, and my friends have a lot of friends. Oh, well, please sit down. Have to drink, drink and food. Just food. If you want to drink a food, there is like. <laughs> I'm not touching that. On, on the middle of the table, <laughs> next to the old man, there is this beautiful elongated jar of what you know to be pristine whiskey. And the old man is, you know, hugging that thing like it's his life. I was gonna, I was gonna say, you kind of see him take it and like have the cork and he'll look down. He'll get a glass and like shake lead, like start pouring some in and some bits like sipping off the glass. He's like, and gets it off the bottom of the glass oh, and then no. it. <laughs> well, maybe we could trade <laughs> secrets. I... The aroma of the backwash really adds something to it. <laughs> no, 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 not like, uh, off like you know, like when it runs down the side of the glass, oh, yeah. it'd be like off I mean, like you've been, you've been drinking in it, you know. No, no, so no, no, fresh, fresh, fresh glass, fresh glass. Yeah, I was drinking. I've been glass. drinking out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, this old whiskey is like. Uh, made in uh, Morion and from like the barrels are made from one of their oldest uh, bark trees which adds a very deep fragrance 
to the uh, the whiskey as you're drinking it. And you know that this bottle is usually even not on the table for your finest customers, Nasami. That's how rare they're, this bottle they're is. Splur- they're splurging. Yeah. We have money. <laughs> and Nazani actually sip. drinks it, you know, like a small sip to enjoy it in her mouth, right? Mm. So it's like, she's not trying to get drunk on it. She's enjoying the flavor. It's like, yeah. find mm-hmm. 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 It's, it's very nice. It's peace. Enjoy it. If you have a secret, I, I have, a, have a secret as well about Lady Bissau. We could, tr- we could, we could trade. If you, do you want more secrets, maybe. What, what is your secret about Lady Vizong? It She killed some people. <laughs> Look at her. Do I see anyone looking at this? No, everybody's frozen playing 3D Pong. <laughs> Did you know that? 3D <laughs> uh, uh, I got... I got wind of it. The knife it was a rumor, but since it I, came from many people, I believe it's funded in reality. I don't even know if it was the real Lady Visson. Shh! Vanished! Gone. I don't know where she is now. She's gone. And why do you have interest in this uh, murderer? You see, like, a very apparent concern <laughs> why you're asking. No hiding in the... Uh, anyway, <laughs> please, I'm gonna drink. <laughs> may, may I have the, the stick, my boy? <laughs> uh, uh, geez, I'm sorry, I forgot about the stick. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, I've dealt with people like this before. Knowledge is power. And he, she, them, they who holds the knowledge that has the power. When back back when your father and I were running our business, you know, good, good old chap. Um, the knowledge is power, I thought you said. And there would power. be, <laughs> you, you know, the, <laughs> the weird <laughs> secrets here and there. It's always very useful if she has information about the, the city. Then so, so Cass, we should get know? her drunk so she tells us, but Shh, don't tell her that. So, so, so Kath, how, how did you how did you two meet meet? Uh, 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 <laughs> like over the table base. I'm like <laughs> knocking one of the I'll 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 deal with it, Cass. Don't worry. I'll I'll explain. Charles is uh, gonna go over with the bottle and just pour uh, some in Kinnan's mouth while he's like that. Sunny, <laughs> <laughs> I am so confused right now. It, it's quite, it's quite all right. I you learn a lot. Of, it. You learned a lot of, about people called grief. You fucking ass. When they're in this kind of state, people are very honest, and honesty is the best motor. But how us. is it supposed to? I don't understand. You, you are maybe, you are able to come in here and just make them happy, and then I have to. She looks like we're them. happy. Just it like might be useful. Give me the fucking stick for a moment. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the stick. No. <laughs> he takes the stick and he yeah, this is why we're mad at you, you because you don't respect the stick. Me? Res- he bonks you again. Uh, but Res- I don't know. But the I don't stick know is he power. He threatens to power the stick. They seem to care about this stick, Cass. Like you have to, you have to compromise and hold the. You pretended, like you didn't fucking care. You left us all, went somewhere where we didn't say we were gonna meet up, and you end up what beaten because your own fucking mistakes, and you haven't shed a single fucking tear for the person we lost. Give me the stick. Why should we give a shit about you? I don't. I want the stick. Stick now. He looks to you and he kind of takes I'll just high fives your hand as it's out. <laughs> Listen, Cass, if that's even your real name. I want you to sure it is. shut up, you fancy flubbergasting flower. Just talk to my boy like that. I wish I would look like you, but I don't. Now, I know oh. you do. Cass, we don't have anything. Except each other. 
And the bonds that we have create, break, or whatever it's called, is what matters. But you come in here and pretend like you don't understand what it is, and you trample on all of it, and it hurts us when you do so. And then you pretend like you don't understand. Maybe because you don't understand, actually. But it still hurts, right? We're hurting. And we're hurting because people die that we care for. And we care for a lot of people because we don't have money or anything else. So the only thing we care for is people, and they matter a lot to us. Yes, I don't have money either. I but you came from money, and you probably... Have you had somebody very precious to you die like that? I stagger up and try to get, like, two goblets of wine. Yeah. Probably takes a while. And then I want to give one glass to like, one glass to yeah. both <laughs> to each. And then, like, have my own, like, bring go back to my own, like... For Kippo, I toast. Yeah, Kippo. yeah. Kippo. Look at the two people holding him. Like, you have a goblet each. If you yeah. didn't take it, that's, you know, I probably, like, please take it. <laughs> Charity has whiskey in one yeah. hand, and you just hand yeah. her a thing of... Um... Uh, I'll... One last thing. Sorry. Listen. Even if we pretend we hate you, it's because we hate what you previously stood for. Cass, the the money and the, the whole, you know, silver spoon or whatever. But as I said, if you would have died, we would have been equally sad. Here. But can you please stop? I don't know. You don't know two shits about me. The no, but it doesn't matter. Because, because you guys matter. have not Use asked me a fucking... Stick. You haven't I... asked me the simple no, questions. No, because you don't do that. Why because don't you do that? Because if I ask Oscar, I would get 50, 50 hours of sad backstory and it would hurt my heart. We all come mm. from shit and we don't want to drag up the shit. People in our parts, we don't ask about the past. We look to now and to the future. And it only hurts more if all right, all someone right. dies, you if you know them so. more. You've done, you've done your drunken rambling. You've got your emotions out. Now can we talk some sense? He you think because this, sheepishly you think, gives you the thing. You think because this pretty boy came from money that he has an easy life? Do you no. know what it means to come from money? Yes. It means that from the day you are born, your parents see you as utility. You're a pawn to get married off, to get sold. Poor uh. people... They have people and they care about people. Do you have the certainty that your mother loved you when she gave birth to no, you? No, because I didn't have fucking that. have a mother. Because you I was born and then shut out on the street. Yes, but the thing is, if you can't understand other people's reality, you don't have any moral superiority or something. Being poor is very simple. You struggle to survive. When you're rich, you struggle to survive in different ways. And it's all lies and deceit and disgusting people caring about money being rich is super complicated and it sucks no it doesn't no, it's, being it's, rich is pretty cool tim, tim is gonna step in here and say <laughs> oscar gets to speak now because <laughs> this is kind of his thing being rich is bullshit see everyone as people and People all need the same thing. But then the rich motherfuckers have like all this shit, and us poor motherfuckers don't have none of the shit. And then we feel bad, and they don't feel bad. Well, they do feel bad, but they feel bad because other rich people also want to steal their money because they can't steal from the poor people anymore because the poor people don't have any money anymore. And it's all bullshit. And we could just fix that. We could just take all the money and just give it to everyone. And then everyone has money. I don't want to give them my money. I know. But that's uh, because uh, you're also a rich motherfucker and now you're a but, poor motherfucker. I, so you miss I'm the dead. money from when you were a rich I motherfucker. I was born in a shithole jungle and earned it. Don't. 
compare me to her. I <laughs> earned everything and lost <sighs> everything. Uh, let, but, us, let us not talk about money. No. I don't think numbers. I think context. it's important to just come down to the point where when rich people feel bad, you don't get all the privileges that you think that you have. When poor people feel bad, it's because their brother got stabbed in an alley for not letting himself get robbed. So, okay, I'm sorry, I'm but I don't buy your shit about, you know, rich I'm, people I'm having going. it equally it's bad. It's okay. You don't I'm, no. think about me right but now. Will... I am going to sit <laughs> over there. Good night. The, You're the not point... even listening, Cass. No. The point I was trying to make is rich people have to deal with things in a different way. Sure. Emotions are not as welcome in our world. So perhaps the way Cass is handling himself right now and not letting himself appear like a fool in public is because he was raised to project a certain image. We know. And he feels the same shit you feel on the inside, but he doesn't want to show it to you because he feels like you would make fun of him because you probably would. Probably. Why I don't would know if I would, him? but... No. It uh, doesn't yeah. really matter that much anymore when we have one of this money or not doesn't really matter anymore. It's We're all in the shit. I like Shh. it. Like I, I said Cass, before, like, Cass, 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 you... Cass, don't go I... sit elsewhere. You don't run from your problems. You sit you... at the table and you talk to them. You're welcome what here, and I to told to you me? before we... we sit down next to me. I'll run off Before. You're welcome here, and I told you to come here. I don't so have I'm... problems with you. I like you. And I mean, I think everyone here just deals with new people and grief differently. It's... So... Nope. It's good. Yeah, we all and My I'm, it's good to see you didn't get killed. I told you to be careful, but it's good to see you didn't get killed and you're back and because you of look, her. That's good, and um, we I'm owe you awesome. gratitude for that. And, and I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't even get your name. It's uh, I'm Joshua, and I like put my hand out. I'm Lazan. Sadiq. Good to uh, meet you. Not uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Oscar. Charles still just has his so, head, but he's like a good like foot and a half from you over the table and is like... Okay, okay. That's a very yeah. long handshake. <laughs> Cass, what, what would you like to drink? Please, let, let me buy you a drink. <laughs> It is Me? moist. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. There's no one else called Cass here. Uh, well, uh, I, I don't know. Surprise well, wine, me? beer, cider. Do you have a preference? What, what if you? It's a dream. We, we don't have everything here, but I think they have most. What would you prefer? Uh, a, a, a whiskey would be kind of nice. Well, it's like post glass, please. <laughs> uh, he'll he'll actually go and just slide the bottle over <laughs> on the table. Like, oh, this, 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 this is how you know we like you. We're just hurting. I'm sorry. Take it, please, for me. Drink, okay. drink up. This you belongs to. to well, you drink your share. This is you helped. This is a, a big share of this is yours. You were there, you helped. I mean, shh! You know what. What? Am I. You're, you're telling me to hush? At first, you said. No, 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 just. I'm not supposed to speak. Shh! She doesn't. You know, just don't. Just don't. I think what they meant to say is stop talking and start drinking. But yes. you know I don't yes, handle yes. this uh, thing very well. But okay, just I will try. Yeah, don't drink too much, just a little. Okay, I'll try. You have to, you have to fit in. Do it. Yeah, so yeah, come to yes. the pressure. So, so, mm -hmm. so I'm not supposed to be enjoying it, right? I'm supposed well, to be washing it down. Some people called? enjoy it more than others. Okay, so I wash it down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, probably like... I try. <laughs> yeah. To it's chug it. Very strong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you probably get like one gulp, and then there's just like. <laughs> <laughs> <Heartburn>. <laughs> 
at the boy. Off. At yeah. the boy. Is there a oh. tavern drunk anywhere? Like, who's like passed out? Uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> is that so supposed messy. to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just like gonna point. Like, if you like, like it too much, like that's what I'm. Yeah. Must be from my nose. <laughs> Why does it drop from my nose? That's well. I don't like this. I'm it's sure. Your body, it's your body telling you it's very happy. Oh, so more. Okay. Okay. Well, pass uh, me the I bottle think... then. <laughs> I got this. Wait, what, 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 what more? No, I, no, everybody. I tried to go. down it again. <laughs> uh, t t come over. She's like drinking that and like yeah. chugging. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, a, that's enough for your first experience with uh, this type of liquor. I think, I think you're mm -hmm. going to start feeling more relaxed now. Your body is going to feel all nice and. War with your face, it feels great and you can't stop smiling and I say you feel nice and warm. I feel perfectly Shh. fine. Why are you here? Who, me? Yeah. She's my best oh. friend. I am. You have I'm friends? A... Right. That's, that's I'm amazing. A I'm a lot of people's best friends, but Cass is like one of my bestest best friends. Well, okay. I, I, I mean, or um, <laughs> um so yeah. you decided to just what bring your best friend back? Yes, she found me. I mean, I mean, I found uh, I found my friend uh, laying on the streets, and I asked him if he needed help walking to wherever he wanted mm -hmm. to go. Okay. Uh, that's not really what happened. I was uh, simply asking or uh, helping uh, uh, a gorgeous lady, you know. I know. Is they buying it? No. My lie is not uh, convincing them. No. It's okay. It's Damn okay. It. You tried. Yes. Good attempt. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep working on it. Oh, okay. You're not good at words, Cass. Like, your heart is okay, and then your brain is also okay, but then your mouth is just. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of weird. That's like you then, Oscar. We we uh, I tried I tried coaching. I tried coaching. I made I made them learn lines and stuff. It never worked. It's like delivery is just isn't snappy enough. Joshua, but it's okay because sometimes it works. Sometimes like once in a while, like he gets something in there and it's like very profound and touching. Joshua, am I supposed to take the drink from you? I take the drink from you. I'll just try uh, and nudge it out of I his have... hand. <laughs> you succeed. <laughs> I mean, at least this one is calm. I... I've seen people like you. <laughs> oh, I doubt you have. Uh... You would never be here. Unless you've got a really bad reason not to be at the place that you want to be. What do you mean? Daddy? Why would a lady like you be in a tavern like this after having found their friend in an alley? Because I'm a very good friend. Yes. Sure. Sure. Some people have it all. Gold I don't, a heart of gold. I don't buy it. No what is it you don't buy, Keenan? You can't afford it anyways. <laughs> That's true. Right. <laughs> you have money now. You can't say that. You have money now? What do you mean? <laughs> let's... I don't... Let's just say it like this. Uh, I'm not used to walking along this city on my own. And after seeing what happened to my good friend Cass, I figured I would rather find some people to hang out with so I don't have to walk home alone. Could you roll me a charisma check, please? So, What's to roll good? the charisma check, you simply yes. click on charisma. And then it's the f the left okay. one. Okay. I can do this. You can. Yes. I'm so good. Yes. Left one under charisma. It's just straight charisma? Yes. Straight okay. ability charisma. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. He kind of, he looks at you. So, okay. Sure. Sure. But 
I reckon that there's a reason that you're on the streets. Someone like you should, what, be locked up in a palace somewhere by somebody very rich. And you're telling me that you're on the streets by yourself. Oh, trust me, she's not somebody you can lock up. Mm -mm. <laughs> they did try. <laughs> yes, they did. Trust me, they did, but uh, did not yeah. succeed that well. Uh, let's just say I had some errands to run. Let's just I say do... that if you're not honest, you can fuck right off. And um, that's I'm... not fair. We're all I'm... a lioness. I'm We're not, all I'm not. not... I'm not dishonest, it's just how much trust can I extend to you if you don't extend it to me? Exactly. But trust is earned. And not trust is money. earned not by telling lies the first thing you do. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh you, you think... <laughs> Half true. I have, I have told, I have told no lies. I was running <laughs> errands and I did help my friends. Right. You <laughs> didn't say what kind of errands. Because we... I don't believe you put on this level. Of By the smell of you, I can assume that you were at Mr. Magellan's perfume shop because one of those smells is her newest. Give a shout. I love you. Is I'm that a... where you got that strawberry smelling drink from? You fed me. I do like perfumes. Uh, quite a fun collector myself. I come from a family of parfumiers. I can be fully Darian Empire. But that's a story for another time. So yes, I did uh, stop by for some perfume, which would only corroborate my story of being on air. Yes, yes, I agree. I just get, again, weird feeling. Why not send someone else? I, I just... Mm, what's the word? Um, Do not trust us. You, you know the word when you have a feeling about somebody when you look or listen to them? Um, I, think, I think you're suspicious. just jealous, but... No, not suspicion. It starts with an I. Like, you know, you trust your... Uh, instinct. Mm, no, not Intest instinct. Intestine. Intuition? Yes, yes, intuition. That's the word. That... You, Nasami, you're more trouble than what you let on. Okay, well, I'm gonna step in here a little bit, Keenan, because I heard that you have my money, because that's obviously... Oh, sorry, yes, it's your I, money? Yes, you have some oh. money to me, so to you. Okay, I will just what? take it and then I can, mm. as you said, fuck off. If you want oh, me wait, to. Wait, let's see. Who was the person that set up the score? Who was the person that arranged for how to do the score? Who was the person that made sure that we got away with the money and you, you all so didn't oh, die? So well, rude. Oh, Kid, if we hadn't all been there, I, I don't think we would have been alive, all of us, except Kipo. I'm rude because I don't want to get close to you because I've lost two good friends in the period of three days. And I don't want to accidentally end up enjoying your company and then be sad when you eventually fucking die like everyone else. Oh, I will not die. Trust me. I got it. We didn't think Kippa was going to die either, but... Yes, you that guys look like you're into. You guys look like you're into some pretty dangerous stuff. Don't get me wrong, it's... Pretty, it's pretty exciting, uh, but uh, I don't understand how you got cast into this. We're we didn't get rid of Not it. in any sort of shape to talk right now. I am yeah. high as shit because I got a potion in my arm, and then those three are drunk as shit. So it's I was all mistaken. I was close Vava. rest in my eyes. It's, 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 it's all Vava. So we maybe you go to bed. To, we have okay. to go to sleep and then we can talk tomorrow Good. and then we can actually like 
talk about shit and not like talk over each other and yell and all that. That's all uh, right. I could sure. smother a pillow. Mm. Kinnon stands up and you see him just bend down to the floor. Yeah. You hear a lot of jingling. He puts something like he does this motion, but you don't see anything go over his shoulder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he almost like swings over and just like walks over to the counter, puts his hand and it becomes invisible, pulls it out, puts a lot of coins on the counter. A room each for all of those fucks. Uh, and he just walks up. Look, you guys, uh, you don't seem to have very good people still. You seem to be clueless with what you're doing, and I feel for you guys' life. If you do need help, right, I don't. I wouldn't be opposed to helping Cass. You're... I feel like you would have lots of troubles getting. You're pretty. And you, I am. And you like care about well, class and whatever. But you like look like you care. She does. Like, we're not in a good place right now. No, it's, we're 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 not in a good place right now. We're in a good place, but men mentally. That um, we. Should talk tomorrow, but then we can actually use our brains. Yes, exactly. Can Good. Can you so... roll me a perception, Masani, please? As this conversation is going on. Yes, uh, perception. Do -do -do -do. It's a so why good don't you perception. find a bed, Oscar? Um, mm -hmm. as you're sitting at this table and talking to the others, you have your eyes lined against the door and the several windows that's there. The torches on the outside of the door makes that, you know, there's quite a lot of illumination there. And you see very clearly nearing one, or like nearing the door from one of the windows is a grizzled face of a, uh, a man that you've seen before that mm -hmm. you know is after you. For a very specific reason. And should this person see you, it, bad things are going to happen. So, why don't you just go to bed, Oscar? You clearly need to sleep. <laughs> I'm hiding my face, pretending to be quiet. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> Did I say something? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so just, sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Did I say something, just, Nasani? It's just, I've missed you so much. <laughs> you what? So happy that we found, we found each other I am today. so happy that you are yeah. here too. Thank you, my friend. And I uh, yes, just embrace I'm, I'm, her and just hug yeah. her. <laughs> I think it's time for me to go home. I can't hold this liquor pretty well. I know I haven't drank as much as you guys. <laughs> Do you think like you guys could walk me home? Oh no no no! I I I walk you I walk you to your room. Yes, of course. Okay. And, uh, you, you, you are. I don't want. I uh, maybe maybe I could go sleep at your place or something if it's closer. I don't want to be a burden. No, you're not a burden. You no, it's okay. It's okay. Ben. <laughs> okay. And could I still there. <laughs> yeah, I had one of it. Ben. Uh, can I insight disadvantage? No, you're way too drunk okay. to uh, to do the, even this. Like when you come to your senses, it will probably be if you remember this, it will be very obvious. But um, if you reverse the roles. If I get a twenty, I'm so drunk I actually believe her. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the door opens, and this man coming in wearing a brown leather jacket with a uh, like a green shirt and some just very obvious travel trousers together with some uh, some very walked in leather boots uh, stands to kind of survey the room and you kind of go like this don't worry as he looks over you and you're like you know immediately go back here and uh, this is the face that uh, you would have seen when uh, uh, when he was sent after so to say uh, in When would the first time be when when you would have had them sent after you, if you think? In what city? Would it be Redilla? Would it be now that you came here to Vale? 
Uh, it would have been in between, though. It yeah, in between. between. Like once, once they had made their move, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and yeah. then okay, the, the moment basically I left Rodella, that's when yeah. it got suspicious. Yep. Yeah. So I would say you've probably seen him in three other encounters. One where you were almost mm -hmm. left dead, mm -hmm. and now then he has traced mm -hmm. you here. Mm -hmm. So he uh, comes in and looks around. And I need you to roll me a stealth check with advantage. So advantage is by holding shift before you click roll, click on the roll. Okay, okay. Uh, shift and stealth. Fuck, I did slay of hands. <laughs> yeah, and it didn't roll no! <laughs> advantage either. I mean, sleight of hand is still the same, isn't it? Yeah. Um... It should be a plus on the left side of the result, and you could do the idle roll with advantage if you press the plus. Uh, there is not anymore. I oh, plus, no. I think. Uh, oh, right. Roll another stealth. I'm, I'm holding shift and another stealth. That's actually oh. a stealth this time. Oh! Yes. <laughs> nice. Are you She's a woman! Really yeah, you are. What is the... I'm a really convincing prior. This is not the first time I do this. So... It's the most uh, annoying. It's the most annoying cry you can imagine, and it's like the thing like you don't want to look at this mess. Right? It's like, <laughs> I con I conjure up tears right. and snot, the whole shebang. <laughs> Everybody should be getting. Uh... Foundry just go. burned now all day. it works. Yes, you need to refresh. Okay. Divine power should burst in through the door. <laughs> Holy shit! Run away! <laughs> Let's see, does that work on Slight of Hand? Yes. Yeah, no. On glasses, and he just says, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he powered down. He's not dead. Uh, you gotta hand it to him. Yeah. Because he doesn't have them anymore because we took off the hands. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. they're still there, though, in the door. So we disarmed the, him. The thermites uh, <laughs> go off. So, uh,. Yeah, you hide very well. Um, let's see. Yeah, you're like slumped over on the table, oh. hiding oh, between the figures nice. of other people. No. It's okay. It's no worry. You know, uh. I, I think that uh, this is gonna be fine. You know. The man walks over to your table. Oh shit! I, I look up. He takes a chair and sits down, you know, turns it around and sits down with legs, uh, you know, the other way around from the chair. Masani, why don't you stop that ugly crying? It doesn't suit you. Excuse me, how are you? Am I talking to you? Yes, you are. We're sitting at our table, so... I don't. I don't believe this is the time of this. Oh no! I just wanted to make sure, with my own eyes, that I was correct. Now that I know where you are, well, you're gonna have to watch your step. I'm sorry. Are you threatening a lady right now? <laughs> what are you He's gonna do jesting. about it, Cass? She's only jesting. Don't mind it too much. How the fuck do you know my name? Money has a lot of power. I know. Alright, so how about we take things easy and we just all go home for the night? Uh, right? The um, price on your head, Cass, is a little bit too low for me to care about, though. So, I'm not here for you. So, you are here to threaten my best friend? Is that what you are? Do you really want me to slap you on the back of your head and drag you out? No. Um, no? And I shut the fuck to, up. Uh, um, I want to cast suggestion. Sure. Anything that fine, is like... On this fine fellow. Yeah. Sure. So I'm just, I'm just warning before I say what I'm going to say. Suggestion is a vocal and material yeah. spell. So if you try to do anything, like, there will be a time for him to react because it's yeah. not something where he's, like, unaware of what you're doing. 
So whenever you would like start saying the uh, like incantation, he just like shakes his head. It's not going to do anything. And if you do that, you'll just make us yourself more suspicious than you already are. Stop. I'm just I'm just trying to make sure this doesn't escalate it too. No way to be. As long as your friends stop talking to me as if they're, they're important, it's not an issue. It's good to see you haven't changed. Lovely no as ever. Change, right? Who is this uh, Nasani? Um, you can call an me old, an old acquaintance. V. Well, it was a pleasure seeing you, and uh, I'm assuming you won't be coming back home to uh, Solen then. I'll see you another day. I wish you an up. evening as lovely as you are. Walks away. Uh, May you trip, die, and break your back. <laughs> you have like this, as he's <laughs> walking away, you know, way too... No, no, we don't need to go there. We don't need to. <laughs> no, Nasani, I'm a little bit confused. Are you alright? You know how I said I have a lot of friends? Yes. Yeah, that's not one of those. <laughs> no, I, I... I, Actually, I do understand a threat when I see one. And that was a really bad threat. Uh, what <sighs> happened? Uh, Did you first... Basically... Is he rich? Bitch. Oh, yes. And you, I, uh, I slept. I slept with him many times, and like, he's very rich. Because otherwise, step one wouldn't have happened. He's yes, pretty good. Oh no! Trust me, he's not worth it. No, no. Obviously, but not uh, did you steal I... from him? No, he stole <laughs> from me. So this would also not be like. Just so that we're guessing our story, say this would be the person sent after you and not the person itself. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah just so that mm -hmm. I know that you would know. Yeah. Cool. And go ahead. I mean, when I say him, I say the, the person I'm in trouble with. Yes, yes, yes. It, it just. You know, uh, like you not, can... the, not that one. That one's cute, but he's not that cute. You know, and he gets higher than the person I'm in trouble with. So that means, like, you know, he's not on the same level. He's like, a lackey. I don't sleep with lackeys, you know. Yes, I know, but... Uh... If you get the chance to introduce me to the person up top, if he's cute, I'll take a swig at it. I, I assure you he's not worth it. And he's super married. That like, makes it worth I it. Thought, I, thought, I thought the wife was cool and stuff, and she was like, hey, like you're very pretty, and I was like, hey, like it's very cool that you guys have a healthy relationship where like you can... Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. Don't trust people, man. Uh, it's gonna be okay. I don't. I don't. Like it's just empty threats. Um, you see, like how as the door opens and he walks away by the glass, he looks at you, makes sure that there's uh, some uh, eye contact, and he just does this kind of, you know, hello, as he like somehow opens the coats a little bit as well, shows you, you know, his assortment of tools that he very easily could use on you to uh, to make sure that you don't have another uh, night in your life. And as for you, oh, Pat, thank you. this is uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, it is a uh, tabletop role-playing game where we create a story with uh, voices, maps, and uh, use the influence of... Uh, dice to decide certain actions mm -hmm. the way i like to describe it is it's like a tv show episode each week where you know where you're going to start but you don't necessarily know where you're going to end and you get to write the episode as you go along as the players yeah and then he's the executive producer that throws all the plot twists in yep he's like god but angrier and me <laughs> <laughs> God fears him. That was a series of he's like, events. He's like God, him. but in the Old Testament. Yes. Yeah, Old Testament God. <laughs> oh, you looked the wrong way at the city? TPK, fire and brimstone. It's raining a lot, and there's a big boat over there. <laughs> I think that's uh, 
there is no more meaningful conversation from the yes it is exactly like yep. the strangers uh this is uh so the the meaningful conversation might happen between Cass and uh, Nasani because the other ones are way too fucked yeah. up. Uh, there was a room paid for all of you, so you can sleep in a room here in the tavern unless Nasani wants to attempt to make her way back to. <laughs> I'll be little spoon, okay? Yeah, I am <laughs> going to try to make her stay there. I'm yeah. not gonna le let her go. Especially yeah. there was a that. room paid for Nasani yeah. as well. Yeah, I'll so lead her there. She mm. wants her own room, she can has it, have it. Um, it's been a while, it's been a while, we have to have a sleepover. Yes, that's true. I like that. I like that idea. You can, you can braid my hair. Is that okay? Yes, of course. Super I'm soft. hoping that uh, you, you, know, you let me do that. Yeah, you have no idea what conditioning regimen I got this to look at. <laughs> yes, I know, Don't I'm not. trying, but you know. So, night goes into uh, morning, and everybody comes down with either a super hangover or a lot of pain, because the morphine has stopped working. Um, so, Oscar, you have uh, not been able to do your morning routine today for the first time in a long time. So, not only do you, do you have pain, but you're also stiff as fuck. Kinnan, weirdly enough, is already sitting down at the table. And uh, he's sitting there with uh, five small uh, caskets. Good. Like, wouldn't you call them caskets? Like, sorry, what do you like? Boxes, you know, like you would have six. Yeah, it's like a small caskets. chest or like a. Little... Yeah. Is Ca it... Casket is like for. For a coffin. Like a coffin, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Small uh, caskets where the children very have. morbid. Like how many did you yeah. get? <laughs> yeah, no, he it's sits there with uh, yeah, as a small assortment of uh, boxes, I guess. Then, um, what's in the box? Um, oh god, I almost like, I saw in my mind how he in one of these shares, you know, does the spins around. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. <laughs> I've got the cat. Just, just sit. Uh, Oscar sits and goes. I've got a smaller dose of what you had yesterday. If you need it, Oscar. I am. Yesterday was a mistake. <laughs> I feel <laughs> I cave would have been better off just dealing with the pain. Ow. Oh. Ah, why didn't you warn me that Solomon had just... I was expecting a healing potion, not... I didn't have the chance to tell you not to take it, Oscar, before you jumped on and said yes, and then he injected you with what was, was probably monster tranquilizers. Felt like it, yeah. It seemed like you were in pain yesterday, at least. Oh. I am bruised all over, and I hate myself. So, you know, average day. Yeah. At least we can do something now. Wait, am I remembering right that Cass came in yesterday with like an escort or something? <laughs> They say, are, you uh, say as they come down the <laughs> stairs. Um, I prefer Cortezan. Thank you very much. Not so loud. I, <laughs> Please. I didn't think you were real. Okay, oh, she is real. That... A vision of dreams, I know. Yes. I Full was... of yourself now, aren't you? Guess Can you have just... to be in your line of work. I, I am my own product, and I'm a very good saleswoman. It's good to know what you have, uh, you know. Doesn't Anyways, I have been and talked to my my friends. I guess 
and they'll arrange for all the documents and also for the uh, protection to start from next so starting next week we'll have our own place but how are you supposed to protect how are I'm confused again they the, the your ground friends. of the place we're staying is inside a thief guild's area and if we don't pay the money they're gonna kill us you guys are becoming homeowners well yeah, I hope we got lucky in this whole we're market, got getting a home place at least we're buying come I'll show you <gasps> I told you Nasadi I'm not homeless <laughs> I told you uh, also oh, Ben no that's we very good there. for you so they uh, after like their breakfast and such they will go and have a look at it let's see I think I should be able to drag in the pictures mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I try to buy a sandwich from the the one of the maids or like one of the serving staff to have yes. a, like, extra food. Absolutely. Seconds oh. aside, just yeah. Uh, Celine, uh, three three sandwiches for the road. Uh, do you want do you want two? I'm I'm getting two, Joshua. I just I just need, I need, just need something extra. It's Four extra sandwiches extra. for the road, <laughs> Celine. <laughs> Thank, thank you. Something with bread is a good idea. It's going to soak up all that nasty mm. shit you guys okay. ate right. like yesterday. You were shit faced. I yeah, love you. You can click on it to get an, like, like, a, a large thing Yep. in the chat. Very nice. Oh, wait, did you post something? I might have accidentally closed out of it. In, it's no, I closed in... out of player notes. Never mind. I'm good. Found. Yeah, so you guys are purchasing a small property on the uh like here on the southern end of the emir district this is an old uh, what seems to be like fisher's warehouse or something of the similar sort it seems to be three stories you see that it's looking quite fucking ragged and uh, it's probably not worth the money that you paid but it's a property that you now can do things with from the inside and you can restore it and do what you want. It's just a fixer-upper. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, you are wow. not... Wow, <laughs> that is a, a building. It's That's a building. Very, very it's to you. <laughs> uh, Tim, can I just request one of those text marker things? What do you mean? Uh, so where the warehouse is. Like, like where uh, the warehouse is. What is the wine and wine? Yeah. The wine and dine is no, a wine bar. And wine. Wine, and wine and wine in the Ah. Yes. Uh, got it. Oh no, that's my reaction. That's not his only reaction. Oh, so cute. So cute. Bye bye. Still my reaction, not Nazani's reaction. <laughs> uh, I'm excited for when we get to use Tailspire on stream. I mean, where, we're probably I not going thing. to be able to use it on stream because uh, that means everybody needs to purchase it mm. and it would be a weird thing to set up because we can't have people in there so it's just there for like 3D models and such mm. and we might do it like off stream depending on mm. um, but the caskets sorry I said it again like uh, boxes I, I feel like yeah. the, like this, this should be a word for like you know the cigar boxes like the small ones that they had yeah. <sighs> like, we have a word for it in, like, ask, you know, like, ask, and, and yeah. ask in and, and Lua Da. Mm -hmm. you know? um, yeah. And it's not really like a small case, but, like, it's not yeah. case neither. A box. A small parcel. Offer. <laughs> That's the word. It's a cover. Yeah, but covers aren't they usually bigger? Oh, the covers? Yeah, covers are really big. Yeah, but covers aren't they, they, they usually They can be small. No, like. covers yeah. are really, yeah, like a... really big. Anyway, where's, where's the crate special is when you need one? <laughs> um, you are all like, as he hands out, he actually like can and uh, coffer a strong box. First definition. Um, so I'm going to be honest here. Uh, what you have to do, Sarah, in OBS, if you click see the like, if you click and unclick the thing, it usually refreshes itself in OBS. 
like that box that you have for the chat on stream. If you just uh, click and unclick that, if that's what you mean. I, I'm going to be honest. I think that we pull different weights for this job. And where I come from, we get paid for the amount of weight we pulled. Cass came in the day before we did the thing. I don't think it's fair for them to get a full share. And this one, pointing to Nasani, didn't do shit. I'm not giving her any of the money. I don't need money from you, Good. don't worry. I'm, I'm fine. Now's the time, but Cass, if you want to make your case, you do so. Make a case against you? No. How much are the shares? I mean, it's your... You're the one who found it. I would assume you get the most, because you had the information and you have the connections. Well, I was thinking... We have a hundred left. We're four people. Five. Five. A hundred what? Five. Six. And no, Nasani isn't counted. <laughs> he very specifically said that. So, if you counted, what? You, it, sh, what? We, we make it either. So, we start off at the base of 20, and then I'm going to take five away from Cass because Cass wasn't there from the start. Are you actually going to make that face? What? No. I'm not telling. Listen, stop being such a little twat. I'm telling I'm you that you did your job when you were there. You did exactly as much as you were expected to do and even more, risking your own damn life. And I'm grateful for it. But I'm telling you that you weren't there from the start. You didn't do any of the planning. You had no idea about this until the day before. Do you really think it's fair for you to get the same share as us? No. Then don't make that face. But it's okay. Don't That's make what that face. face looks like. Don't bully him. I can't help that my face is looking like this. Well, I actually can, but, uh, you know, <sighs> you have to live with it. How Jesus. much, and how I'm much the else? Youngest <laughs> one here. <sighs> I'm thinking from the, t the three of you, you get 18 each. Then Charles gets a bit extra. It's for the crickets, isn't it? <laughs> it's for information on the inside. <laughs> Yes. So, Charles gets 20, the two of you get 18, Cass gets 15. <gasps> is that a lot? I ask uh, Nasani. <laughs> it is 15 Ethereum pieces, so yes. Yeah, yeah but, but I, I look over to her and just like, is that a <laughs> lot? I'm a little bit unclear. 150 silver. Has it or been 1500 silver. Has it been converted or is it still silver? It is converted now, so it is. that's what the small boxes are for. <laughs> it is a it's going to be... It's good. It's good. Don't don't argue that. Like I mean, you would know coming from a noble house yourself, you would know like fifteen Ethereum is a good deal of money. Okay. Like yeah. it's still pocket change for the rich, but it's a good deal of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm thinking like, look, that I'm... looking at what looking at what you're wearing, take it. <laughs> Shut yes, up. Uh, actually, Nasani, I think that. Uh... Yes, that's a good idea. I'm gonna ask you for something later. Okay. Yes. Okay. Did we pay off the tab? Yep. Oh, good. Well, I mean, now we have the money. Yep. And I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to see any of you until this warehouse is done and dealt with. That's the warehouse. I thought it was an oversized doghouse. Could be. That explains a lot. But it's probably, like you say, Ken, it's probably good for all of us if we have some time apart. What also, too. What does it smell? Why does it smell so bad? You the one. You're the one that smells. The only uh, thing no. that smells here is Unison. I smell absolutely delightful. Yes, she does. And actually, I think that uh, she can help improve the place with a little bit of flair. And yeah, me she as well. ain't stepping a foot inside there until I know she's trustworthy. What? But what about me? Uh, like did you, you have... run away instead of helping us in the last action heist? No, you didn't. 
Do I know that I can trust you? Yes, I can. Even though you're a dipshit, you're trustworthy. That's but like this a, one... That's like, is, that's like a compliment wrapped in an insult. I like it. This one is all full of half-truths and is one sneaky bastard that knows how to speak. And I don't trust her. Is that a compliment? Is that also a compliment wrapped in an insult? Yes. I, I think that. he's That's just a kin and beats. That's an insult wrapped inside a compliment. It's the reverse. Oh, okay. Thank you, I guess. Anyway, so. I am going to spend my time with her, so... Hmm. Have fun. And Kin just kind of <laughs> turns around. See you in a bit. I'll make noise when I have the things. Hi. See you, Kin. Where, Where we live? I'll find you. All right. We have another day in the end, I believe. You do. Yeah, as we paid in advance. I checked the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How um, was Joshua? How I... as well, I believe. Do we want to have a chat in general with Cass's friend? I think I would like some time. I still want to process things, get my head clear before we make rational decisions. I need some time to think too, because people that trade in information do so as a job. If we give them information, that's their currency. So I would like a little bit more uh, time to, you know, uh, think on this, get some stuff. And I, I do hope if you don't take offense, um, I also have, you know, a few people here and there that I'm still in touch with that hear things. Um, I'm also a understand of the value of information, so I feel like myself respectfully, I would like a little more time to trust you. Perfect. But I can live with that. If you're still around and you want to join us, I guess, <laughs> join us. We, we can always discuss it when we have the warehouse and we all meet back again. If you're still around and if you're still want to help out, I think that's fine. Certainly, if you want to go scour around the city and search up information about the upper crust, uh, yeah, I give you I give you my words of encouragement. I'm sure you're gonna do great. You look oh, like that's... you look like the type of people Noble would confide in. More that's than you sarcasm. know. Sounds like... That's sar yeah. that's sarcasm. <laughs> but it's okay. I don't take too much offense. If you are looking for me, uh, I reside at my friend's house when I don't uh, sleep at Shady Inns. Um, I'm probably going to be hanging around Cass because we do have a lot of cash. Yeah. You can find me at the Church of Serpentia if you need me. To... Only when I'm there, of course, but they, oh, they know me. I've seen you yesterday. You have a lot of things to be there for. Um... Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really know? <laughs> I'm only referring to yesterday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hard to read, I guess. Mm. Well, I need to know where I where I am most most times, but it's been a pleasure meeting meeting you, and we'll see the rest of you, Cass, Oscar, uh, uh, Joshua. Do right, do you mind if? No, let's let's take a little walk. Uh, and I'd kind of want to walk off with Joshua, and after we get a little bit of ways, Joshua, I, I've I've noticed since the time that, well, I, especially since everything's happened, and my perspective on what's important, what brings me comfort has changed, and well, I'm friends with them, you know, I. I would still do anything for you in a heartbeat. And, well, I, I, I know that you, you find a lot of comfort in, in what you do in, in your faith, so I I was wondering if you would indulge an old man and maybe tell me a little bit about Serpentia. I feel like maybe finding something that I could put a little hope and faith into would Absolutely. It's, bring me some, some peace. And I'm still just... I'm still quite new to it. I can 
give you the basics, but maybe you, you could come to one of the sermons. It's I would. Uh, I, I would like that. It. Yeah. So well, you see, Serpanthia is basically not. She accepts both sides, good and evil. And like we walk, and I give like the basic tenets of how Serpanthia respects both good and evil and doesn't take a side. But and like the the inherent good of evil. And that it's needed. You can't just have good. You have to have evil as well. Um, but then that there are different schools and different groups of followers, specifically inside uh, Church of Spantia. Yeah, Charles would be like nodding and like listening like avidly of you know, uh, you know like t- tell me more. And I, I would say that he probably, you know, spends quite a bit of time with Joshua at the temple and stuff over the break and just try to immerse himself and find some comfort outside of people who die. Yeah, and something a little bit more concrete. So, the last thing that we're gonna do before we go off on a break is the uh, the extended long rest. So, an extended long rest is a week's time that passes, and we do it in the form of storytelling, where there might sometimes be roles that accompany them. Now, because Cass and Asani are decently new to the whole veil thing. They don't have what the others have, which is a uh, a rumor skill. However, we are going to create that rumor skill today so that we can use it the next time. So the rumor skill works in such a way that the place that the characters are generally carousing gives them some sort of information. For Charles, it is the slums. For Joshua, it's the temples, and for our dear Oscar, it's the the streets and the seedy taverns of the revolutionary people that say fuck the rich. <laughs> uh, so I need uh, the three of you to make me a roll and choose also from the perspective of your character how they go about you know getting that information because you have two skills connected to it, and you choose which of the two skills, and then you describe to me how your character has been getting these rumors. I start start? because I actually have a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Um, So now that we have money, um, Oscar would find and buy like just a bunch of hard candy. So candy that doesn't spoil. And he's going to pull a Varys from Game of Thrones and find an orphanage, some place that just kids hang out, just... uh... Your little spiders. And yeah, it sounds creepy, I know it does, but like he's going to find impoverished kids, give them like a little bit of money, a little bit of food, some candy, and all he wants in return is, hey, have you heard anything interesting? Yeah. Go ahead and roll me one of your rumor skills. Secrets pay in coin and food, little one. Eh, could be worse. Okay. I'll be sending you two things. Ooh. And then Ben. Um, I would go to the slums and kind of, uh, you know, b- before when it was a little more roguey uh, type deal, some of the activities that I was doing, um, I would talk to, you said that there wasn't like a basic informant that I had of some kind, right? Not yet. Roughly. Not yet? There's okay. just a oh. few people that you're starting to get the pulse on, but you don't know if they're trustworthy yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would, I would kind of go around to, I don't want to say some of the seedier places, but I would probably go around to some of the seedier places, have, uh, the disguise self active, and just kind of ask general rumors of the description of her, not so much like her name of like, oh, have you heard about this person, or has this person come in for information, uh, you know, just any sort of connections or whispers of a person that fits her description. Of who, sorry? Oh, uh, god, I, what was your character's name? That's why I was like, I need the name up on stream so I could look at it. How how this works is that you won't get a specific information about somebody. The rumors roll is basically you just hear what the city's currently speaking about. So it's not that you can ask about a specific character. It's that you'll get what is currently the buzz 
of that region that you're in. Okay, then I would same yeah, thing. Just, just ask side. about you know if we're mm-hmm. looking for under you know shit of happening. Yep. Has there been slummy rumors? Uh, and shit <laughs> you like heard that. about this beautiful woman who's just killing everyone and stabbing yep. them? I'm like, no, I haven't. <laughs> Roll me one of your. Uh... Thank you. Oh, that is equally as bad as the last time. What was it? Yeah, you rolled like I... shit. You didn't get a rumor the first time you rolled. That's true. <laughs> this time you're getting one. I have a d6 of inspiration. You can add that if you want. You know what? Yeah. I think it'll be good. I, f- then I just remembered I should have been adding. I should have added the d4 because that's my first. Hey, hey. Of, uh, look at that! Did session. that push you over the DC needed to get two? Time yes, time. it did. Very nice. Uh, did I give you the right one? Yes. Okay. Last but not least, we have. <sighs> yep. I would probably like. I would try and get away from um, Charles a bit in the mornings to you know keep feeding the tiefling. It's not necessarily with the rumors. It's just during the long rest. I would make sure to feed, uh, and I'd probably cost like a few silver just to do that. But during like. I'd spend more time in the temple and probably try and listen in. I don't know if there's confessional styles, but like, you know, like yeah. listening for, you know, like what they're talking about, like what's affecting people, what's what different tragedies, like people are getting robbed, mugged, like what's happening in the city that is, is affecting the congregation. Um, Absolutely. To get like Go a ahead. And roll. Uh, Ho, 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 ho. Nice. So, uh, you are. It's a mustache. <laughs> I'm sending it on Discord to you, Simon. Thank you. And then. So, these are three separate missions. Okay, yep. Copy that. Thank you. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Juicy, juicy. So, for Cass and for Nasani, I feel for Nasani, we have a very obvious part where you'll get your rumors. Be it the, uh, you know, the brothels, the whorehouses, and the, uh, like, what would be the word for, you know, the place okay. above Min the brothels district. where it's like the, uh, the Bad courtesans houses? spend their time? No. The madam's house? Madam's house, you know, like where the Does person, the like not like the like the female pimp that runs like the the brothels <laughs> the other, and stuff. The other place where fun stuff happens, it's either like private residence during parties. Uh, yeah, but where would they get your like contact information? So say, where is the hub? Like, what is it called? Like, because brothel doesn't sound like the yeah, right place. it doesn't sound right. But I don't know. I don't have a word for it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you could do like the entertainment district, like the yeah. red light type district of, you know, they hear all sorts of things. Men yeah. come and tell them in bed, confessionals, like it's, yeah. well, I mean, well, they're great they're, source of phone rumors. There are different levels, like, because, like, if you have for royalty and stuff, like for nobles, you have more, like, you know, established and, like, more organized. Yes. And there's probably, like, maybe yeah. a noble or merchant who has good contacts with, like, refined women. And, like, oh, yeah, we have some. I feel like it would be like a private companionship. Escort. Like, if I was, like, old, I would want, like, you know, I wouldn't, like, go to an establishment. I would want, like, you, you know, like, there's that, like, off, like, blacklist list for, like, the rich people. Yeah. These are, like, the high-end escorts. What are they Again, called in the, yeah. The we're, we're missing the yeah. word for it, but it's fine. Uh, we get the idea, like. We'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll find it eventually. That is then where you will be gathering any rumors come next time we do any rumors. So what? Court. Court sense court is, is quite nice. Uh, so what you're going to do is you are going to choose two of your skills, uh, so okay. your attributes, that make sense to be a way for you to gain information. For me, this would be probably charisma and wisdom, because, you know, listening and charming your way to the information. And yeah, what you do on your sheets is on the resource, so on the part next to where it says mana, you can click yeah. where it says resource two, and you can click rumor gathering or something. And then you can write where it says zero on the left end. You take your charisma, oh sorry, your wisdom plus your proficiency. So the total number would be four. 
and then in the other one you write charisma plus proficiency which would be six so you should have four and six in those two boxes so this means that you know when you write it that you have uh, i think it's easier to keep it as one rumor so instead of doing the four slash four do four slash six instead of i'm an idiot six. don't mind stop, me <laughs> stop calling yourself an idiot. uh yeah. sarah and right in the staff i feel cast yeah. fits in yeah. so many boxes <laughs> yeah <sighs> Except the talking box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I agree. I, agree. Like, I, I can I'm see... I'm going to go gather rumors at the library where nobody speaks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can see him, <laughs> like, try to to slurk, like, lurk around and listen to things and get information that way. Yeah. And it fits in, you know, as long as he shuts up basically everywhere. Yeah. But the moment that he, like, starts, like... Hello, have you heard about our Lord and Savior? No, yeah, <laughs> um, so I'm wondering where Cass would be able to gather rumor the best. Um, I was thinking like uh, just a stupid idea, but yeah, uh, that maybe maybe in like the merchant districts or something. Yeah. Um, because I I mean. Uh, he will definitely spend some time looking for art and yeah. uh, kind of like beautiful things to uh, decorate the warehouse with, for example. Sure. Uh, so, uh, uh, so maybe some sort of that. Uh, but he would mm -hmm. also hang around with uh, Nasani all the time. Yeah, I think that merchants are probably the people that care the least about your way of talking and such because they're very crass themselves they're very straightforward yeah and, and i i just, just carry myself uh, with uh, pride yeah. and stuff then <laughs> yeah so i think that works that you can get it from the merchant district then i think that both your charisma and probably your con is the way to get information okay. con in the way of <clears throat> just being more stubborn and being more like you tell me this shit kind <laughs> of deal uh, when it comes to merchants and yeah you make a resource for that and uh, let us have then the week passing so everybody can click long rest on their sheets everything should be gathered back so, so that you have all of your stuff um we start this extended long rest on the afternoon of the 24th you know, at least your characters know, that on the 25th of spring, it is the Sprout of Joy Festival. So the entire afternoon and evening today, and the entire pre, like mid, what do you call it, like morning is the word, but we have a better word for it in Swedish. And the entire morning tomorrow as well will be spent decorating parts of Vale. And when your characters come into the Sprout of Joy doing whatever it is that they're doing, either participating in it, being off sulking somewhere, or doing other things. It is a very like, specifically joyous festival. There's a lot of bright colors, a lot of confetti, music. There's very little drink. Like, you're not meant to be drinking alcohol in this one. So it's very, like, it's very kiddie, I think. Like, imagine how we have Easter, you know, with a lot of uh, colors and happenings and there's you know the egg hunt and such there's a few like games that you play throughout the thing so the the hide and seek for items and then you have you know you eat pies and other baked goods and the entire city just smells wonderful throughout this entire day the week passes on and there is a few things that you learn and such and then I think we come to the uh, the first. I think it's a good place. Or well, actually, we can come to the the second. So this is a a rainy day. Uh, the second of sowing is also a, a festival day. It's not a festival day as in that, but more of a um, holiday. Sounds so wrong, but what do you call like the the important days? That's not Hogtider. It's like holidays. like a celebration. Yeah, but holidays is the wrong word. Yeah, it's like it's a like day a, of remembrance or something like day that. Day of remembrance is a good 
and wait for it. So it is the morning morrow. So it fits very perfectly. So the morning morrow is basically where you have a time designated to kind of remember the people that you've lost throughout the times of your life, be it friends, family, or, you know, pets, anything that you feel that you've lost. And I think it makes very much sense that on this rainy day, Kinnan comes to gather all of you. And he does so kind of having sense, like literally just coming to where you guys are sleeping, no matter where you are, he has found you. And he's knocking on your doors quite early in the morning and telling you we're having a funeral for Kippert. So, before we go off this rainy second day of morning, uh, the players begged me they sold themselves for one of this. Yes. As the rain floods down the stressed the streets of Vale, all the rats and other vermin that usually live in the sewers scamper out in order scamper out of them in order to survive from being drowned. There are certain parts of the sewer that stay dry no matter how much rain that falls on the surface. It is in these that we find large gathering of animals and, at times, even humans. Behind an unmarked door somewhere deep in the labyrinth of tunnels sits a lone figure in the darkness. Should the door be opened, a stench of death would spread outwards. The creature within knows not better than this. Death and sewage is the only smell it has known. Surrounding the creature are hundreds of bones of various sizes and a weird rectangular piece of paper with the word Salis sandwiches on it. The creature is currently engrossed in devouring a scaly snake-like monster. The long fangs easily pry the metal-hardened scales away, exposing the flesh. Rainy like days like these are the best, it thought. It didn't really know why it thought like this, because this was the first day that the sky had opened itself and water had fell. But it had access to much more food today, so rainy days must be better, for some reason. The few days that has been its life has been filled with terror, anger and hate. It does not know why. But there have been some kind strangers that have gone out of their way to help. Now, standing on a thin line between doing good or evil, the creature was unsure which way to go. Aww. Go on the good side! <laughs> Come to the good side! <laughs> Join the good side. We have hard candy. <laughs> Sandwiches for days. <laughs> we are going to take a break before we continue. So we'll be right back and stay tuned. The baby is there. <laughs> oh, I...
på skolan. Ah, vi lär oss. Ja. Så. On the morning of the second of sowing. Party is awoken at 7 ish a.m. So very early. Um, it's I, I can see Kinnan kind of walk up to where Has and uh, Nasani is sleeping, and you know Nasani sleeping without too much regard. Perhaps here's a knock on the door, and it's Kinnan. Uh, it's like <laughs> I sleep with my makeup on, even though it's not equally as you know perfect as it should be uh and Kinnan like he doesn't come in or anything but he uh, just there's happens. an eye up here and there's an eye down there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kinnan doesn't doesn't dare walk in and I'm assuming that the moment he starts Hello. opening the door it's like don't come in I was like <laughs> close at the door um so he gathers all of you and you make your way to uh northeast or outside the city so uh, in Vale, previously, all of the people that died up until a uh, a few decades ago were buried inside catacombs in, uh, or cremated in some parts. But because of how big the city's become and how many people there are, uh, graveyards are now being built on the outside. So he leads you guys very quietly, not talking a lot. Rain is pelting down from above you have either very thick you know coats on you so to uh, make sure that you don't get wet as fuck i guess or there are some sort of umbrellas and uh, as you come out here you have uh, a a very beautiful temple made to uh, vona the uh, the goddess of death he has uh, already, like, as he comes in, he talks to the gravedigger who lets you in and he leads you to the northwestern part of the graveyard underneath a a big, large, big, large, that's two uh, two things that you shouldn't say in the same sentence. It sounds like you're stupid. So a, uh, a oh, grand tree is what stands in the northwest uh, corner where the leaves are currently, you know, having the rain drip off it and underneath it there is a uh, one by six feet grave dug very perfectly though somebody has used magic to dig it up and you can see like the perfect block is just sitting next by you know ready to be placed in um he turns uh, in in his sadness and hurt towards all of you Oscar, I think you knew you better than, than I did. Is there anything you want to say? As I say, he, he was a colorful character, both inside and out. He was but somebody even that. The, even the brightest paint gets washed away eventually. I'm not as good with words as he was. He was a storyteller. I'm... I'm a monk. <laughs> and you can barely commune with yourself. You can say that again. I like to joke. He... Maybe he had some trouble... Knowing when to be serious, but... He always sought to bring joy to other people's lives, even if his own was, as he kept saying, cursed with bad luck. Maybe that's part of why he wanted to make everyone else's lives so, be so much better, brighter, more colorful. His memory lives on. Even if his body does not. Kinnan turns serious as he looks to Nasani. 
since you haven't left in the days that's gone. Again, my sense tells me that you're here to stay for whatever reason, good or bad. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. And if I find out that you've spread this information, there will be a hundred knives waiting around each corner for you. That's a lot of knives. We're all dead in record sense. And the reason that we're dead is because we did some stupid shit. The crown got to us, but instead of actually killing us, we were giving a second chance. And this second chance is basically to deal with shit inside of the city in any way that we deem worth it. Needed. We're a bunch of misfits who tries to pry away money and power from those that have too much of it and redistribute it, whilst we also try to figure out why people are dying. We do some bad shit in the sense of the law, and we might end up dying. We might end up dead because of it. If you're gonna stay with all of that, I expect you to pull your own damn weight. I believe you will find use to me if you intend of dealing with things greater than your little slums. I have interests of my own, but they're not contradictory to the goals you're trying to achieve. Are they exactly the same? No, but they are similar enough that we'd be walking the same path. At least, most of the way. The price on the heads of both Cass and you is very alluring. And I would like to know why there's a price on you. Uh, sorry, uh, no mean to disrupt, but uh, can I place down the flowers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing with like two many bouquets yeah. for yeah. me to carry, and I'm just like holding them. Just. I think as. Firstly, I tried to explain yeah. to Cass that the amount of love doesn't have to be proportional to the amount of flowers. The message didn't register. Uh -huh. I did my best. So. Kinnan kind of stands there expectantly, but let's go for a moment, and we see Charles move up to next of the grave and still very unused to the whole going into the thing and it's a bit of an icky feeling of turning into sand and then being displaced and suddenly everything is scorching hot you do it uh, begrudging but placing your hands on this weird ass miniature tower you uh, you know, envision yourself or even chant words or find a way to mentally prepare yourself and as you do you feel like a small door is open inside you and you turn to Sam and this is the first time the Sane sees the old man like hunched over on the ground holding on a small miniature sand tower and suddenly he turns to Sam and gets sucked up into this tower On the inside, uh, we have no bigger change so far. You asked about having been in here before, Ben, and yeah. there is no change to it. Uh, it looks to be like, you know, if you're trying, you can displace the things. Let's say that you have currently 10 blocks of stone. You yeah. can move them, kind of arrange them how you want, but the material you have is not enough to make something grand of it. So, probably, you know, the 
the more power given to what is inside here, the more beauty and lushness will be granted to you to experiment with. Um, sitting in one of the corners is the corpse of Kipper that has not decayed because you're in extra dimensional space. Gently and with as much care as you can for a countryman, you pulled him out. About, you know, a minute or so later, Charles materializes back with Kippo in his arms. And in the previous days leading up to the, the funeral, Charles has been reading up and also procuring the things needed for a traditional tributaire burial. So you have a bit of Odens with you and uh, placing him gently down next to the ground, you set up an assortment of uh, like imagine the Matryoshka dolls in Russia, but it's the totem size. So you pop them all out, place them in a very specific order. Each of them are a candle. And as you light each candle, you say a phrase, kind of like counting down. You know, you start with the person's birth, then you say, you know, something from their youth and such. But since you don't know Kippo that well, you have just fill in with your emotions and experiences from Kippo. And when you get to the last light, as you light it, you push Kippo into the ground. And all of these, like, small totemish dolls, they start shedding out a uh, bluish-green smoke that spreads around your ankles. And you can see, be it hallucinatory or real, spirits coming from the ground, from the air, materializing in and around and just being a part here. And you say your last goodbyes to Kippo as the gravedigger then puts the earth back on top of him. And as he does, all of this smoke just before the earth kinda comes back in sucks itself down and wraps itself around Kippo's body. And then the earth comes down, Cass puts the flowers down <laughs> uh, onto the, uh, the grave. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, the grave. Oh, can I do it now? Yeah. Kind of thing. There is a, uh, <laughs> a beautiful black onyx stone that it was not obsidian that is uh, put up as Kippo's gravestone. And in there is the words, that, you know, his, his name, his profession, and also uh, you know, a catchphrase that would be used from him. And when this entire thing is done, and you've all had your, your cries and goodbyes, Kinnan again precious the issue of the bounty on the two of your heads as you're standing here in the rain. Um, what do you want to know? I want to know why there's a bounty on your head. Um, I, I look over to uh, Nasani and just uh, like if she wants to start... <laughs> I can't go too much into it, but I will be honest in what little information I am willing to give. As someone very rich and powerful took something from and something precious enough that I will devote my life to getting it back. Since this person doesn't want me to get it back, they'd rather I die before I have the chance to. So basically, something got stolen from me. And now I'm in danger of dying. So I'm, it's not my fault. Basically. Everybody else's fault but mine. For once, I didn't do anything wrong in this situation. They still want me dead. But 
unjustified, if you ask me. I know that's vague, but that's pretty much what I can say about it right you now. Know, you know, I'm sure that among any people you could have told such a thing, we might be the ones that would understand the most. Took something from me. Kinnan is just looking straight at Cass now that you've said your thing. Yeah, I think everyone just sort of turns to like, and you? <laughs> no judgment here. Just want to know. <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, I might have snapped a little bit too much. Um, Insulted a lord of some kind and uh, made a uh, scene. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, for the assault part. What? Yes, you could say that. Yeah. Mm. I attacked... Um, um, I kind of uh, fired... Um, made a crisp of a um, senator's uh, son. By accident, you you burden uh, elected officials with child life. That being heard, we want to see what you guys know when they mm -hmm. say senator. Mm -hmm. I thought this was a republic. <laughs> <laughs> I am the republic. Oh, <laughs> Joshua, uh, <laughs> ascend, ascend, ascend to what? <laughs> Ascended? Oh, you mean like a king? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, no Charles, so you know that there is only one country, at least in this known area, that sports a, uh, a senatorship, and that is the Commonwealth. And the Commonwealth used their senators like kings. Meaning, if you've done something bad to one of their children, Oops. it's very bad thing. Fuck you up. Yup. Sorry, continue the uh, the RP. So I, oh, I'm, yeah. I can understand why they want well vengeance, but he was a little prick. It's not a big loss, just. Yeah, it it, it wasn't that here. bad actually. It was ah, just that the, they were a little bit um. Well, you know. Well, bad enough to be with. The rest of us here, and one of these. Well, I guess. You know, in a in a strange way, knowing that you killed a prick in power is no, I did not keep. Close... I don't think I did. <laughs> oh, I misunderstood. Killed his reputation at the very least, I would assume. Oh, assault in a prick in power. That's that's my mo. If any if anything, that endears you to me. Well, I didn't do it just because, you know, because yeah. of his uh, statue. That's not why I did it. Sure, you had your reasons. You don't tell us everything. It's fine. Good. And then kind of nods, turns around for a bit as he uh, looks out. Then he turns back. This, this must be comic oh, that they do, the, the youngest person, the, the sparrow of the group, Sprout. is the person that indeed dictating anything, and I am Kinnan. I murdered my first person, Nought Butts, three weeks ago, when I had to save these people. In an, an alleyway, and I will never forget the sound that the magical energies pushing itself into a human skull makes. I am by no means a saint. I have done many wrongs in the short period of time that I've lived, but 
the second chance that I've been given, I do not want to waste it. And I have lived many lives with many lies, and I don't want that. Because lies... They only breed hate, secrecy, arrogance, jealousy. So thank you for being honest. I have... Maybe it's silly. But we can't remove these braces. And it seems like you're staying with us. So I have something fashioned for just us. And he pulls out uh, a small bag from where he then uh, retrieves six necklaces, all tied to a leather cord. And uh, at the end of them, there's uh, these small black gleaming, uh, like glass almost, uh, what do you call them? Um, like crystals. crystals. Yeah, no, but they're made into symbols of sorts. Uh, shapes or yeah, shapes like figurines, like small, tiny mm. figurines, basically of uh, like different assortments. Uh, so you can go ahead and describe what your figurine looks like when you take it. The one that Kinnan takes is uh, a uh, a dagger and a staff that kind of goes over each other as he puts it around his neck, mm. and then he goes to hand out to everyone. So, how does yours look, Sarah? Uh, definitely a uh, flame. Okay. Rocks. Um. <laughs> don't give me such short notice. Uh, it's a flower. It's a nice little. Yeah, nice little elegant orchid thing. Ben. Uh, interestingly, I think mine would look almost like a little like merchant sailing ship. And, uh, you? Probably just, because you said it was black, right? Yeah. Then just a nice, simple black sphere. Okay. Joshua? I'd say it's a shield, and on the shield is a scale that is uh, perfectly balanced. Nice. As all things should be. Good and evil. Now, with these... <sighs> we can at least be... I don't know, what? Group? Family? <sighs> Looking out for each other, at least. And we'll also know... each other by these. Because there's a lot of people out there that can make themselves look like us and make themselves. But he kind of horses out out towards Oscar. Would you mind? And as you hold out your little thing, they click together like magnets. Oh, well, that's lovely. These six are made from the same stone, and they don't want to be separated. It's very useful. Can I make an out-of-character request? Yep. Could he have made two more, one for Violet and one for Kitho? Yes, uh, absolutely. He would actually probably pull out one that he's already wearing that's uh, not like the, it's black but it has like one streak of violet going through it and then you would probably get one with like the uh, uh, the scepter of uh, Kippo like uh, his spell casting focus that he would hand to you Oscar Oscar's gonna take off the rope he's wearing around his wrist and he's going to weave the necklace into it so it's like one coherent piece and then yeah. clip it back on. <sighs> I 
Right. Kepo is nope. buried. The warehouse is ours. We can go there if you want. Let's take a look at the new place. Yes, please. Why does living walking. hurt so much? Because it reminds us of the things that we've lost so we could enjoy the things we have. Fucking sucks. Nope, Hi. You together in the rain walk as Cass is like brushing off the million petals that has like got stuck in his clothes yep. because of the massive bouquet. You're just leaving a trail of flowers. Yep. And uh, <laughs> yes, Mr. You. Uh, as we're walking, uh, Oscar's gonna just, I guess, either slow his pace or speed his pace up, whatever, to uh, walk side by side with Cass. And just go. I know you didn't know him well, and I know you don't really understand us, and you're not really great with your words, <laughs> and your demeanor is a bit shite. I w I'll admit, but the flowers were sweet. Thank you. For you're, you're, you're welcome. Um, was it a little bit too much? Because uh, actually, Nasani said that, that it, it could be a little bit too much, but I, I, I didn't know what to do because I was like, mm, I, yeah. Was it okay? It was, it was perfectly in character with you, and I'm beyond sure that Kippo would love it. Okay, that's that's good. Um, but um, okay. Yeah, um, and I'm sorry for... I'm sorry, I guess. Yes, I'm sorry for um, him having to leave. Um, you That's seem not your like fault. a good friend. And I'm sure that he knows that. Wherever he is. I could be a far better one and Oscar's gonna speed his face up and walk away I can see like you know we have at the front probably Kinnan and uh, Oscar in the middle we have Nasani and Cass and then at the back we have uh, Joshua and uh, Charles walking as like the, the three two teams that's here yeah. and somewhere in the, the walking pace someone asks uh, what you guys have been up to previous days so now we get to go around the table and start from the back with uh seven mm -hmm. well Joshua, or should i do it as my character or like uh, oh. it, the thing is that i don't think that we would share everything in character yeah. right so i think yeah. it's better for us to do this out of character yeah uh so you like his regular routine is to you know spend a lot of time at the temple helping out sort of you know doing his due diligence to sort of get in better with the community that is there and just, you know, speak to the congregation a bit and learn a bit more of what it means to be, you know, sort of higher up in the yeah. echelons of a clergy. Um, and then also he, every morning, he tries to sneak away to get away from anyone he knows and sneak into the alley, leave like a bit of a sandwich and at some point, probably a few days later, realizing like, you know, it's wet and cold, maybe leave a blanket as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, most of the days just spent with that in afternoons, probably hanging out with Charles, like answering questions if he's interested in that, or otherwise just you know, staying as much as possible uh, in the church and just you know, trying to learn more about these things that uh, are past. Yep, what have Oscar been doing these past few days? Uh, well, faced with dealing with two people he was relatively close to dying and being the paranoid self that he can be sometimes, uh, he probably spends most of his days, like the day part of each day, 
um, in various libraries or just any sort of place that he could find, like books about just anything, general history, poetry, just anything at all. Yeah. And then as evening rolls around and the paranoia of both the night being what it is to him and just the, let's call it, loss of control that sleep brings, he probably first react with aggression, finding some sort of like fights, be it underground in bars, whatever, just fighting. And then eventually when he gets so exhausted that he can't even keep fighting anymore, he'll just go back to the attic they had rented in The Lonely yeah. Darling, even though it's empty at this point, probably. It actually wouldn't be. Like, I think the first day that you come up there, Kinnan is sleeping there, and he's like, What? You here? <laughs> I, I didn't have anywhere else to go. I don't... I must... I'm fairly... I'm basically a stranger in the city. Just, just come up here. Go then. back. Go back to sleep. It's, I'm just going to be awake for a little while longer. And at that point, he just moves to where he slept yeah. all that time. Just probably like a bedroll or whatever it is. Yeah. I think that, like, probably it was you. Like, Kitten was nestled in one of the very corners, and then you were probably sleeping next to him. So, mm-hmm. like, the, the two of you are sleeping, like, next to each other by a normal. Uh- I want. Uh, he's not going to sleep right away because yeah. Yeah, no, no. yeah, one of the things like he noticed about himself and the let's call it, circumstances surrounding yeah. his current life yeah. have been that he runs in and gets knocked unconscious and then he can't do anything about it, and he's like becoming more and more aware of like the faults he has. Mm-hmm. So he's going to spend any night uh, every night that he can exercising in any way he knows not just flexibility but like actual exercise yeah. to build muscle until he just collapses and falls asleep yeah probably w- w- wakes up at around like noon or one ish because yeah. eh, and then just repeat the cycle yeah i think the first day when you get up there and you are not visibly but inside like just trembling hurting like all of these emotions and you're sitting there just contemplating when Kinnan falls asleep you know he turns around and you know if you're sitting uh, leaning back or something you have your hands on the floor and he just like puts his hand over your hand in uh, and then we leave it there going over to Rock. what does Nasani do for the days that you've had so quite near the city, uh, hanging around with Cass a lot. Uh, Nazani is going to introduce Cass to her uh, current benefactor, which is yep. uh, this nice old lady, Soline, who she's been crashing at for a while. Uh, <laughs> Soline is a sweet old lady. And, like She basically treats Nazani like she's her kid. Um, though you get the feeling that they do sleep in the same bed for some reason. It's like, uh, it's, it's a bit weird, but it works for them. Uh, <laughs> then uh, she would be basically she's not used to the city yet and she does want to build some contacts in the city so she would be visiting a higher end establishment introducing herself uh, she would be careful though to only visit places that are crowded, well lit yeah. so she doesn't want to be caught at night in a mm-hmm. bad spot she figures uh Going into hiding is not what she's going to do, but she's going to stick to places where no funny business can happen without it yeah. being... Could uh, you, uh, for the sake of chance, yeah. roll yeah. me a d100? A d100. Um, you do not uh, want to roll high or low. Okay, okay. Um, that's slash roll space 1d100. Correct. That is very high. That is specifically <laughs> not 
what you wanted to roll. Oh, um, oh my god. That's just uh, so I'm just no. a god. It's not my fault. I uh, yeah. you. This is I'm not good. good. When he says don't roll high and you roll really high, that bad things happen. Please survive. Uh, <laughs> let's say that I'm sorry. You know, the, the second day on the uh, the Sprout of Joy festival, you were uh, you're outside, there's colors, there's all of these, you know, market stores with beautiful baked goods and everything is yeah. pretty and nice, flowers this, this smelling. He looks good for once. It's yeah. so good, right? I love um, it. You're making effort. I appreciate suddenly, it. Suddenly, like, as you and Cass are probably standing and you're looking on, like, what's pastry to purchase. Yeah. When Cass turns back to you, Nasani, there's a flower in her hair that wasn't there a second ago. Oh, you have one of those. That's really nice. I like it. It fits your hair perfectly. A what? You have a flower in your hair. Did you put it there? I don't. And it's not made of gold, no. <laughs> As you take know. it out, uh, this would be a, uh, a purple yeah. liliac which are which you would know considering your proficiency in certain kits is made uh, can be used to make a highly potent poison and these flowers are extraordinarily rare and if somebody has made this into a poison it is enough with just touch on skin yeah. For the person to slowly succumb into a spiral of death. And if you make oh, it into oh, a tea, really it's pretty. delicious. It's, like it's it. however, it, yes, if you make like it has to be tea. processed. It has to be poison. processed very well to make it into the poison. Um, so you yeah, yeah. see this in your hair, and then you turn around and you can see dressed in now you know, very fine clothes. His hair is not as greasy as when he saw you in the tavern, but now, you know, long blonde hair pulled back uh, over like his uh, head. He looks at you and kind of smiles as he shows you his fingers where he has like the same color stain on his fingers that you have on your current lipstick. You. And then he just smiles and walks away. And very uh, quickly disappears in the ground. You son, uh, son of a bitch. I feel, I feel a bit uh, partied out. I think I should go I should go take a rest. Are you okay? Uh, no, for you're now, not okay. Of course for not. now, I am okay. I'm not good at... I, I believe I might not be okay for long. So I would like to go in a place uh, where I'm... Mm, like, maybe home or a safer place than this. Like, right now. Of course, yes, yes, it's just, um, I don't uh, know what happened, the... but okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so, just trust me, trust me on this. I trust already this. trust we walk. you. We walk. Yes. Um, you walk. So if to... any, if uh, Nazani starts to feel yep. any uh, physical yep. signs that it's, things are happening, mm -hmm. she does have in her inventory already, um, <laughs> Because she's a she's a prepared girl. Uh, she does have uh, antitoxin. Nice. I literally bought some during the break, so I was like, <laughs> "Shit, I have some in case she needs it." Yeah. Here gauntlet. I think that that uh, works out perfectly. So what you don't feel, however, is any sort of effects. You walk to the tavern that you're currently staying in. But there should be some effects after the 25-ish minutes that you've walked, but there's none. None whatsoever. Not even a prickle, not like it's like any tiny thing. Is he just fucking with my head? That's even meaner than poisoning me. I can deal with being poisoned, but being played around with I don't poisoned? What are you talking about? It's a, uh, you know, you know how nobles are, eh? Uh, yes, I do. But who, exactly. Is he trying to poison you now, too? Okay. Maybe, maybe. Up. 
What did he? No, we don't. What did he we steal? don't. Fuck, we don't fuck. We don't fuck anybody up, right? I feel good, but if I start uh, convulsing, uh, drooling at the mouth, or lose consciousness, can you shove this in my mouth? Uh, yes. Okay. You know I will. Okay. Of course I will. Okay, just giving you the means to to undie me. Uh, yeah, yes, of course. I mean, I'll do. I'll be fine. I think. I think it's just some, you know. Yeah, it's just but somebody trying well, to kill you. Yeah, it's normal. It's just psychological warfare. So, um, yeah. and we're in public spaces a lot of time. I mean, he's not going to try in in public. <laughs> I mean, I he literally know. just showed you that he could. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the message that he sent. Like, yeah. it doesn't <laughs> matter really where you are. Um, but, but I don't you... understand. Uh, sorry. Yeah, no, I, I was because I need to go in a bit. So we need to start wrapping this up. Um, you don't start convulsing. There is no drooling. There's no loss of consciousness. And you spend the rest of the day wary of your surroundings and uh, perhaps not being able to enjoy the festival to its fullest, unfortunate. But at least you don't die. Um, yeah, I keep a steady eye on her all the time, <laughs> like, looking for any and signs. I keep my antitoxin for a, a rainy yeah. day. There you go. <laughs> what does Cass do for the past days? Uh, he'll definitely uh, purchase, uh, first of all, some fine clothes. Uh, like very, very, very pristine, beautiful, noble, yeah, kind of attire. Uh, yes, I will. Pick up your ass. <laughs> yes, he will. Uh, but he will also uh, walk around the the market uh, areas and uh, try to find some sort of. Um, uh, I would say like uh, different kinds of cloth and uh, beautiful like small details or orbs that you know he can mm -hmm. decorate things with so uh, j just you know just making yeah. the warehouse beautiful basically so, so you have a tavern some tavern room somewhere which is yeah. just filled with these yep. odds and ends that yep. you're going to decorate yes, with <laughs> yes yes definitely okay. and uh, and meanwhile i'll also be on the lookout for any sort of book or uh, information about fire in particular like uh, fire magic and that kind of stuff because it's really yeah. fun <laughs> anything that comes with magic is in the arcanum and you okay. would quite quickly get the information that yeah. you do not enter the arcanum unless you are a student or you are allowed to enter by one of the current professors or examiners so okay. unfortunately yeah. you have no access to like knowledge like that's you know on the streets yeah however there's always a black market and uh, seedier things that you can get your information from and i think that yeah. starting to get a feel a few feelers out there for those kinds of things is definitely okay yeah but nothing that you'll find so quickly in a few yeah. days yeah. okay um do we in character on the way to the warehouse want to share uh... about Oh, did I not? Sorry, I thought I did you first. Sorry, Ben. No, you did Simon. I, I, I was like, I was going to go Simon, Ben. I, I skipped. Yeah, I was, I was confused. Sorry. What's uh, been doing? So Charles would have spent a uh, good few, maybe some of the mornings, uh, going with some of the sermons uh, with Joshua. Uh, he's going to pick himself up a holy symbol uh, and just kind of, you know, have that. As he's kind of starting his faith a little bit. Uh, and he's going to be a busy little bee uh, with a man on a mission. So there were three things that he was going to try to accomplish mainly. Uh, the first is he was going to go out and get some supplies of, you know, uh, get a little bit better armor, pick up some uh, healing potions, things like that, just random supplies. Uh, and then the two main things that I wanted to do was uh, find a way to identify the magic items that I have in the lamp. Uh, and what I wanted to ask you was, since you had just said the Arcanum uh, wasn't really a place that I could get into, I was wondering this. If I go get a scroll of Identify, it's yep. a ritual cast. Can I ritual cast the scroll? One use for one, one use. item? However, for your things, imagine that on one end of the uh, 
the Arcanum, there's this little slit in which you can put your items in, they'll identify it, they'll send it back out with a little tag what's saying what it is. And I'm, what is the what would the cost be for that? The cost would be... Ooh, that's hard to say. That's why I was going to say, it would be cheaper to buy scrolls or go through the Arcanum? No, it would be cheaper to go through the Arcanum. Um, yeah, I think it depends on the amount of items. So I think the more items you have, the... Uh, this is a weird thing. The more items, like in my mind, it would be more cost because it takes a long time. But also, they want, you know... They want customer, so it's such a weird thing. Um, yeah. I think it would probably be... Um, I think first level spell scrolls are about 15 silver. Okay. So it would probably be about 10 silver per identify. Mm. You have account. to have the material component as well, don't you? It's, I mean, it's, well, that yeah, would be one they, Ethereum. They problem. would have that. Yeah. Um, but let me see. Prices, do we have like... No, because there's not prices for potions and there's not prices for scrolls. I and do such. have prices, but it's in the big document that you guys have access to. Got it. It's not, just, I yeah. haven't. Uh, yeah, I haven't oh, loaded over. So let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Potions, yes, yeah, spells. Uh... Minor healing is twenty-five. Silver. Magic items. If I filled in, yes. A spell score of first level is 40 silver. So I think it would make sense for them to do it for 10 per piece. And then for every piece you do after the initial one, they will lower the cost by one silver until it's five. So five sure. is the minimum. Uh, yeah, you have the items written down, right, Simon? Mm -hmm. I did not transfer them at least the names, but they are there in the, like in, in, in the lamp. <laughs> yes, I would like the list of uh, the the I objects. Will send it to you uh, presently. Gracias, gracias, gracias. <laughs> okay, uh, Tim, do you have them, or do you want me to copy and paste this to you as well? So we so don't have. I don't think we have the the bottom thing. It just noted it that it was there. We didn't. Yes. Yeah. So it would be yeah, the circlets and the lantern. The circlet are circlet of blasting, Ooh. which lets you uh -huh. cast uh, scorching ray one time per day. That's and pretty good. The lant is an ethereal lantern that can make you see invisible things. I agree. And a punk. Cool. Yeah, that uh, roll was the uh, the roll, like one of the rolls that you did was uh, 99 or something. And uh, like that was the only useful thing on that uh, list as well. Nice. Let me um, exactly yeah. the name of it. EDB items. Lantern of Revealing. Yes, Lantern of Revealing. Eight. And you said circlet. Someone memorized the list. Circlet <laughs> of blasting. It's lantern of and... revealing, and then scroll of revivify. Okay. Do you want me to read what it is? Uh, lantern revealing. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. Just so we know. This is the one thing I don't know, because I make my own one, usually. <gasps> you can tell us what it doesn't do. <laughs> Here we go. While lit, this hooded lantern burns for six hours on one pint of oil, shedding bright lights in a 30-foot range and dim light for an additional 30 feet. Invisible creatures and objects are visible as long as they are in the lantern's bright light. You can use an action to lower the hood, reducing the light to dim lights in a five feet rate. So, one pint of oil, six hours on of seeing invisible shit. Good. That's pretty good for thieves. Is the oil magic or is it any oil? Any oil. Okay. Any oil. Okay. Mm, but, no, do you know what? Maybe it's I like a finer oil. oil. I want it to be specific oil from the churches. Mm, so holy oil. Like, yeah, basically holy oil that burns for so long. So there's this 
like they light and there's this blue light that kind of shimmers like we all know when you actually burn oil on that goes on the ground i like that hmm. cool uh, and then the last thing, I wanted to poke around a little bit more with the uh, rumors of the stuff happening in the slums of just trying to see, like, you know, is it more concentrated? No for anything that you have. So okay. the rumors is, like, what you get from just doing your things. Okay. And then from now is when you get the ability to poke around more. That's why we give you, I give you the rumors that I so that the party can decide. To yep. Uh, so there's that, and then you're just gonna have to give me the cost for a greater healing potion. Uh, sure. A greater healing yeah. potion is... Uh, potions? Potion. So what do you want? 3d4 plus 4, 4d4 plus 4, 6d4 plus 9? What do you want? Because I have two basic healing potions, so one above the basic. Whatever that yeah. one. 3d4 plus 3. Uh, that's one ethereum. Steep, but fair. Um, and then I'm going to grab one more above that tier. So I'm going to get... one Ethereum 50 silver. 44 okay. plus 4. Yep. Cool. And that's a superior potion? Uh, yeah, it's called... So it goes minor, lesser, medium, greater. So you have two lesser. That's the normal ones. Yeah. For 50. You have one medium and one greater. Okay. Looks All like right. Charles Charles is the healer now. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just, you know, have him just in case. Yeah. Now, on our way back in the rain before we get to the warehouse, are there any actual rumors that you guys were given that you want to disclose to the party in character? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. So Kinnan has more or less disclosed his that he knows that these two are being assassinated. Uh, so, since Ben was the last one to do last, he gets to go first if he wants to share the rumors. Um, well, the I uh, I spent some time uh, down in the slums, poking around a few of the alleys, seeing what I could hear uh, in all honesty uh, about you, and I kind of point. Uh, but what was disturbing was the, the lack of, of noise, really. It was quiet. People weren't out as much. There was less chatter. Um, you know, a little bit more hush. I asked around and all I really got is, you know, fathers, daughters, wives just disappearing. Of going out to a market or going out to a bar and never coming back and I don't know if they're afraid to speak out because of some sort of guild or other operations that are maybe, you know, putting pressure on them and nobody wants to say what's really going on for fear for their own lives, but something is brewing in the slums and it's not normal. I can... Well, mine connects to that, I believe. Eh. Less more than... Remember how some... Oh, well, oh, over a week ago at this point, uh, we heard the town crier crying out the death of the Lord Commander of the Emir Ward. Hey. There is a new one now. I don't know a name. Don't... didn't manage to catch that, but... He has a particular issue with... Um, individuals interested in vertical social mobility. People have been disappearing, and my acquaintances are worried. Hmm. But that's not good. No. I'm sorry, I don't know... Interested in who? Oscar's gonna lean over to cast. I'm not going to touch. I'm just going to whisper. Shit, I actually forgot the words. Ah! But, <laughs> um, poor people trying to become 
richer and specifically pulling rich people down to elevate themselves are getting disappeared. Oh, that's not good. Hi. Are they disappearing or are they being found in an alley? Uh, well, officially they're getting arrested, but no one seems to hear from them after a pass. Hmm. So we should be careful, since, well, other than Minster Fancy clothes over here, we seem to... It's actually three people wearing yeah. wearing very fancy clothes at the moment. I just <laughs> realized that, and now I'm like, oh wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Joshua really isn't much. looking bad either. No, I have. Yeah, yeah I've like got fancy. No, but I got fancy. fresh clothes during the week. I've got fresh new clothes. <laughs> um, so it's Kin and an Oscar that's looking <laughs> like the shaggy. Foot it's not fine. I don't have the fine clothes on me, <laughs> so it's just normal, normal, yeah. normal clothes. But yeah, they're they're at least nice condition. <laughs> Does Joshua share anything? Yes. Uh, okay. The reason I ask about the how they found them is I've uh, I didn't play put it together for now, but uh, in my temple there has been a few men coming in every once in a while, which is not unusual by any means. But been wearing cloaks and you know trying to hide so that they're present, presence, uh, and they get treated for some diseases I, I don't get the details but they have some sort of ailment and i gotta look at one of them or rather well one of one of my friends there he swears he saw the the figure in sort of silhouette seeing more details and he's he said he saw a pig snout like a transformation or like a beastly visage i don't know how much to make of it at the time but then i also heard some more information about our friends at the dusk and dawn apparently they're also patrons at the temple they come in for healing or some such i didn't get again i was well eavesdropping but they said the name the leader or the, the head of the dusk and dawn they said mclongel i don't know if that's his real name or not but apparently they're making demands but probably they're pushing themselves on to the temple to to keep the healing up and i don't think don't think still father vermin wants them there but they probably have some sort of hook to push themselves in or maybe they're just to add as well mm -hmm. for that part when you saw them when this you know altar boy goes by with oh, yeah. the, the, the fire switch the person you saw was also not Emin. Yeah. Even though he has very specifically said that he, he was is the leader. leader. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which so is... there's some conflicting things. Yeah. And the sash that you saw on this Longel guy mm -hmm. is uh, a Similar, much I guess, finer yeah. material. It's the uh, same. It's exactly the same. A higher quality. Yeah. Much higher quality. Hmm. But again, I don't know if the leader would say that he was the leader. That's probably probably not true but probably had a bit of an authoritative figure at least if they could push around and make themselves come in i don't i don't know i just i kind of wish them not to be there it's... i fucking told you i know i told you that you wouldn't come and say oh i'm powerful and i'm a leader of this thing if you actually were hi you're good at lying I was if I was a powerful leader, I would want it. Yes. But you're different. It's what like they say, if you say you're powerful, or if you have to say it, then you're not powerful at all. You uh, showed by example. Is, uh, not right, but okay. The king doesn't go around saying he's the king. Everyone knows he's the king. Exactly. That's, there's That's no need to say it. Could be the king. If someone went up to you and said they're the king, you would not believe them, because if they yeah, had to say it for you to believe it, they probably are not the king. Or don't have any power behind them anyways. That makes no sense. But okay. <laughs> but this must mean that 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 shaved fucker pulled a sneaky on us. Well, he could be a lower member, maybe. Shaved fucker? 
or, 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 or a gang be... that's not licensed or whatever. There could be infighting within the dusk and dawn. Aye. Maybe that's why they need healing, because they're having fights between themselves. I don't know. But pigs now. Hmm. That sounds like a curse more than a disease. I think Captain Lyra mentioned something about transformation or some sort of... Yeah. I think, I think it may be related about... to that. But I think it's... we've heard about pig snouts before at some point. I just can't remember uh, uh, the, the people with the with the church, they were treating people who were having weird but, transformations. But people, Lyra said that people are disappearing. Isn't that what Charles saw in the slum? I believe so. There was some connection to the sewers as well at some point. So we go uh, to the slums? No. No? no we, we're talking, discussing. Yes, but I'm just suggesting we go to the slums then. We're going to the warehouse. Okay. Probably bad to go to the slums if people are yeah. His notes. Yeah. 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 Bad idea to go to the slums if people are disappearing there. We should probably stay away from it if we can, but... I mean, you want to help people, no? I. but we need to go to know what... Yeah. Okay. We need to know where to go, not just go there to go there. Okay. I shut my... Hi, here, in my notes. Perspective, Nasani. Yeah. Uh, Lyra is like... our boss. She's the head of a secret organization. The secret cops. What would you call them? I don't know. I think they're just talking about shadows. But... Yeah, law enforcers. No, no, they're not. They're the people that will drag you out of your home in the middle of the night and drown you because you're doing bad things. The only word coming to my mind is Gestapo, and I know that's yes. not the one we want. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Absolutely, they're fucking Gestapo. Uh, but we'll we'll make a. Uh... <laughs> A funny word, BIA. <laughs> it's fine. The Veil Intelligence Agency. <laughs> you were saying something, Rox. Oh, I was saying, uh, I haven't heard much about people turning into pigs, uh, but I have heard like some cool rumors going around. Like, so. I thought I thought this place was like all boring and like people were like so prudish, but apparently like there's like. Demon orgy is happening all around town, and like my my good friend Soline was like talking to me because she has a friend who has a friend who's like been invited to like the demon sex party, and like she was asking me like should she go to the demon sex party, and I'm like, you do you, Soline. Like you are a strong, independent woman, and like this is a choice you get to make for yourself. But at the same time, I'm kind of jealous I wasn't invited. Yes, I know, right? It I would Don't think that think you would like it. Should be. Like I am, I am the like the the public for this. Like this is the stuff I I go for, right? Like there is no better stage for a courtesan than a demon sex party. I don't think you want to. I've been to this party. You Remember don't it? want to go there. Come, you were invited. Well, I Remember? wasn't. Remember how we said we lost two friends in three days? Oh shit, was she one of them? Mm. I am the so first sorry. one we lost I... was an, let's call her, exceptional woman named Violet. Who attended one of these parties along with Joshua as a bodyguard for Lady Visson, which we are still looking for. Ended up getting drugged, uh, ravaged by demons, and Dead devils. Right, not man packs, and eventually, well, I can't really say killed by one, but that's the closest word that we have for it, I she, suppose. She turned into one. Aye. When another, a demon came, tried to eat her I think soul or something. Or something. Yeah. She ended up eating his instead. It, it no, was... not that, Masani, you dirty codger. <laughs> codger. <laughs> oh my god. I that. Oh my god. I'm hit. 
Oh. Follow old Codger. Praise Codger. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, so if, if you get invited to anything, like, don't, don't go. Is that what Probably he was trying friends. to do with you, Nastani? No! Are no. you sure? You don't no. know? It's fine, it's fine. I can, I can... Just I put in my, I put in my chair. It's okay. No. We're good. It's... Well, it certainly smells the pot. I thought, I thought it was like a hyperbole to say like it was a very like cool orgy, but apparently it's not. Oh, the literal demons. And you are oh. standing oh. next to the big warehouse. Um, <laughs> right behind you, there's the uh, the river running through. Quite noisy, but uh, that might be good for certain things. Uh, this place looks like it's about to fall down. Uh, the lineage quite a lot of uh, things up. <laughs> to fix. <laughs> But it is three stories, and the surrounding ones are working as well, seemingly so. Now that you have a writ for this, uh, just out of character, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Turn it into a tavern, turn it into a fighting brawl, turn it into a secret operation, like, do whatever the fuck you want with it, uh, and use it, because I want this to be, like, you know, your base, and use it as well as you want it. Uh, Kinnon would... Uh, Throw the keys to Charles. Um, Catch him. Um, yeah. I'm going to put him inside of the pouch. Yep. Uh, pouch? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah, it. It. going in. Like, and, then, and then, oh, I thought it was like, all right, here you go. No, you no. know, we'll lock it. Or, you know, yeah. open the door. Yeah. Put him in. Kind of, he'll go and push it. And with a big kind of, like, heave, the door yeah. goes open a little bit. You just see this thick layer of dust that had uh, been kind of pushed from the last time Kinnon opened the door to check it out of this little pile on the side of the door. Um, and I'll probably give a little... As he enters... And... You do give... You don't enter. You do give a... <coughs> though, because what comes out is the smell of death. Mm. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Is you? Dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a bunch of fish that are like. Fluff, 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 fluff. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's uh, the smell of death, at least. Uh, Listen, I ran a you know merchant shipping business. We'll just uh, you know re uh, re remake it. There's a yeah, dust this sign. Is, this is probably not a, a big problem for you. So you open a tiny door inside the big door that gets you in, and then uh, just as you say, like the, there's not dust and such in there, but surprisingly little dust inside and then just this wave of death just hits you Ooh. and yeah that's it for today uh we will be back next week and to entertain you until next sunday when you know the best show is on we have uh, <laughs> sarah's own game aurora skies we have uh, do we have anything else going on now or is it just you and i streaming uh uh ian sometimes uh, streams uh, his uh... Uh, music making, so mm. yep. maybe so he tune into the uh... Discord to get updates to see yes. when things are going to show up. Exactly. Smart. So, and uh, yeah, if there is nothing else, uh, please uh, join back with us next Sunday, where we discover what the fuck is smelling like there <laughs> inside of this. Also, uh, a special thanks and shout out to our new member, yeah, uh, Rox, who has joined us in a. Uh, very well done introduction to uh, yes. to the game where she's thrown in and thrown under the bus and deals with it by being a superwoman who just throws away the book. Uh, so we'll be seeing a lot more of her coming the next few. I don't know how long. Uh, so yeah, eons, <laughs> months, <laughs> years. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Thank you guys for uh, subscribing, following, all of that. Thank you. We love mm. you, and mm. uh, we'll see you soon. All right. I don't. Bye. 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 Bye.